We're super honored to have the author here, Mr. Bob Centenary. He's a microbiologist and immunologist, and he's going to be speaking with us today. And again, I absolutely love this book. I just devoured it and it got me more passionate and just even more emotionally involved and excited about molecular hydrogen. So without further ado, welcome Bob Centenary. <laughs> Thanks, Kelly. Uh, I am honored and blessed to be here. And thank you for inviting me, Amanda. And I'm really excited about talking to each and every one of you about the wonders of hydrogen. So I want to start with a, uh, a little bit of uh, what is hydrogen, then some background, then some research that I did with my team, my, my team of very uh, high level uh, researchers, doctors, MDs, PhDs, and pharmacists too. We all got together and we did some work on hydrogen inside human cells, brain cells, uh, you know, di uh, intestinal cells, all kinds of human cells. And we found very interesting effects that I'm going to uh, explain to you as, as best I can and, you know, do it fairly simply in some slides that would walk you through the entire process of what we did, how we did it, and well, you'll see for yourself the results, okay? I have to work some stuff on here to run these. I have videos that we did, so we wanna you know, make sure that they're working properly. So hydrogen for healthy living. Okay, what is hydrogen? Okay, hydrogen is a it's the smallest and most abundant molecule in the universe. It's everywhere. Every planet, every star, every galaxy in the entire universe has hydrogen. And star, uh, star, uh, sun is you know, mostly hydrogen and, ex and it, it is explos ex uh, explo explosive and it does cause high energy. So every it's all over. It's mo the most abundant. Okay. It's odorless and tasteless, it's a gas. When you put two hydrogens together, uh, uh, atoms together, you have H2, which is molecular hydrogen, which is a gas. Okay, it's made of uh, natural, all natural um, atoms. And it's also made in the, your, your intestines by the good bacteria. But good bacteria produce hydrogen, but not enough. It's good and it works great, but what, we're, what we want to do and do here, what a man is uh, focusing on is putting more hydrogen in your body at a higher level, higher concentration. Now, water is H2O, right? But H2O is very tightly bound. You know, it's, it's hard to break apart unless you boil it. Uh, so it's very difficult. So all we want to do is take water, which is tightly bound. So the hydrogen is in there, can't get out. And then we want to put more hydrogen in more molecular hydrogen, H2. Okay, now hydrogen, since it's the smallest, it's, the, it's number one on the periodic table. It's the smallest molecule. It can go through this roof, through glass, through, through the ground, through the ceiling, through, it, it, it just can go anywhere because it's very tiny. Just boom, no other hat atom can do that. Not even oxygen, which is very small, but hydrogen can, and it will, go through your body when you take it and either inhale it or, in, or drink it or whatever, it'll go through your body and into every cell, every tissue and every organ of your body. In fact, and this is the only atom that can, uh, molecule that can do it. You have a cell and there's a skin of the cell, the cell membrane. So hydrogen can penetrate that cell membrane, go into the interior of the cell, the body of the cell, go into all of the little tiny organs, organelles in the cell, into the nucleus and even into the DNA. And it affects everything inside the cell. And I'll show you more about what cells are and what they do and how they do it. And taking hydrogen, it, you could see some in your body cell signaling. The hydrogen makes cells work better. It actually instructs them to do more things that are beneficial for all of your entire body. Uh, it's an antioxidant, and we'll go over that later. Uh, that means it's, uh, it's, it's, it's extraordinarily good. Antioxidant is, 
is helps with getting rid of the bad stuff in your body. Uh, it regulates the cells, it controls the cells, makes them work better. And it's anti-inflammatory. Does anybody know what inflation is? Inflammation? <laughs> what is what is inflammation? It expands swollen and has your cells swell up. Exactly. Yeah. If you ever you know, like sprain your ankle or or had trauma to your skin, your skin swells and it, and it heats up. You can touch it, it's actually hot. And it causes pain. We all know that. So inflammation can happen all over your body, on in every organ, in every area, even in your brain. And we don't want too much inflammation. In fact, we don't want hardly any at all. So we drink more hydrogen, and guess what? It reduces that inflammation. Sometimes it, it's gone, like Amanda was saying. Uh, you know, with you know uh, things like uh, stiff joints and arthritis. And where's Dell? Dell, yeah, Dell had had some difficulty of closing her fingers, moving her fingers because she had you know stiffness, and she was drinking hydrogen, and lo and behold, she was able to have more range of motion, improved her her uh, capacity to move your hands, right, Dell? Okay, and then uh, you'll we'll learn about how hydrogen can actually activate the body's own natural antioxidants. And one of the most powerful is a, an antioxidant called glutathione. And H2 or hydrogen can actually boost natural glutathione levels, the greatest antioxidant known to man. Okay, so here's the hydrogen molecule. And if you notice that it's sharing electrons. There's two, two atoms. This is a hydrogen atom, hydrogen atom. When they get together, it's called H2 or molecular hydrogen. And they share electrons. And it's also known as hydrogen gas because it is a gas and that's why it, it will penetrate anything. Okay, so what are you going to take away after this presentation? Well, here's what I'd like you to take away. Number one, uh, Hydrogen is good to understand for yourself, number one, your family, number two, your friends and loved ones, number three. So everything that you learn and understand about hydrogen, you could take away to you, uh, your family, and your friends. Also, it'll increase your understanding, you know, especially in my book, when you read it, you will gain more knowledge about hydrogen and make you more uh more apt to answer questions, like when you talk to other people, your family, your friends, affiliates, or uh, potential recruits, you'll know and you can answer the questions. Boom, boom, boom. And I was talking to Kaylee the other day and I was asking her questions. She read the book and I couldn't believe all the things that she was telling me about hydrogen. I, I was surprised. And that's, that's what we want you to do and help grow your business. Wouldn't it be great? You have this wonderful product that can help your your health to raise your levels of your health. And you could also uh, earn some income from telling people by giving, by telling them that they can help themselves and their family and their friends, right? Boom. Now I'll tell you a little about my background. A lot of people ask me, how do you, how do I get involved in, in biology and science and research? I want to tell you a little story. When I was a kid, my dad in New Jersey, New Jersey is called the Garden State, you know, and it grows all kinds of great fruits and vegetables because the ground is so good and it's you know, the right conditions for the, being a garden state. So as a little boy, I played in my dad's garden. It's like almost an acre. And I would just look at the, the plants and the insects and the animals and frogs and all kinds of stuff that were, you know, it was almost like a, 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 a garden of life, so to speak. And uh, I, I came across these praying mantises. Has everybody, have you seen these guys? They look a little awesome. However, they're the nicest insect you could possibly imagine. Because what they do is they capture, they capture insects that can eat plants and animals and fruits and all your flowers. They, they eat those insects to, to help make the garden healthy. So I consider them the heroes of the garden. So I got a, uh, this guy's a male. His name is I named him Johnny Math Mantis. <laughs> Johnny Mantis. And 
uh, the female ha- lays these little cocoons and they, these are little babies. So I, uh, when the babies are small, birds come and eat them and all kinds of other th- things attack them and they disappear. So I felt bad and I felt, geez, they're, they're, they're dying. So I put them in these little bottles and I fed them little aphids and little tiny insects and they would, they would eat it and then grow. And once they grew to a good size where they could fly away and take care of themselves, I'd let them go in the garden and they, they hung around. They're hung, they, they actually stayed there. Like, and I, I recognized them because some have like little spots on their wings and I named each one. So it was a, it was a cool experience. And then as a little kid, I was interested in more biology and I studied plants and insects and animals. And then as a, as a kid, in, in grammar school, I was fascinated with a microscope. I always wondered, wow, you can see things so close up and it's like awesome. So the microscope was the, the most valuable tool that I had to study stuff. And then I got, I got into aquariums and terrariums and I did that. And then in high school, I did all kinds of dissections. So as I grew, I was more and more interested in biology. And then I came fascinated with human cells. Well, how do you grow human cells? Well, you use these petri dishes, they're little vessels that that red stuff is uh, food, just like what we eat. nutrients like proteins, minerals, antioxidants, all kinds of things. These food, these cells in the bot in the you, you got to put it put them in a microscope to see them. They would actually grow, eat the food and grow. And I would watch this over and over again, and uh, that's how how we culture it. And then as I grew older, I worked at a laboratory and I built this entire microscope system where I could see all of these cells and record them in time-lapse microphotography. You know what time-lapse is? You ever see a, a flower opening? You know, it takes days and you can see it in like second, like five seconds or so. The camera speed it up once it's recorded and you see time-lapse. So what happens in a long period of time, you see very, very, uh, sh- in, a, in a short period of time. Now, I got to work this. Now, this, these are cells. And if this is a cell, this is a cell, they're all different angles and different shapes. And the little dot is the nucleus, the inside of the cell. So here's a time lapse movie that I'm going to show you that captured how cells grow, how they multiply, just like we do and have children. These cells can actually duplicate and over and over again. And that's, that's how you grow. So let me play this. And now remember, this is time lapse. So maybe in about three or four days, you'll see what happens uh, in just a few seconds. Come on. Oh no. Okay, here. Okay. So you can see some of these cells splitting apart and growing like this. Now, this is a close up, and you'll see this guy here actually divides, right, in two. And then that's how your body grows. Every tissue in your body does this. Now, here's one close up, and this is the different chromosomes that are separating. And you'll see it, there it is, two daughter cells, right? So that's an idea of what you, what you could see. And I made movies uh, uh, in many different languages uh, describing this along with cartoon animation. So it was an educational tool. So I really like education. So these, these were translated in eight languages and distributed in 80 countries. Okay, so I want to show you something else. Now I'm going to go through a couple of these so you can get an idea of how, how these cells actually work and how they operate and what they do. These are my own uh, white blood cells. I took them out, of, got, got my blood drawn, and I separated them uh, away from all of the other cells in the body. So these are lymphocytes. They're white blood cells. And these cells, these cells do a lot of great protection of your body. So I'm going to play this. And come on. Okay, so here you can see these cells moving. Now this 
it takes hours for this thing to happen. So when you speed it up, you'll see this is one one big guy. And what they're doing is they're looking to, to uh, attack virus-infected cells and cancer cells. And I'll show you that. I captured that too. Okay, now this is a, see the central cell here? That's called a B cell. And this, this produces antibody. Antibody kills bacteria and viruses and uh, it spreads out. And I wanna show you, all of these are little bacteria, these little white dots. And watch what happens. You'll see the end result of all this antibody spreading out and how it will kill all of these bacteria. It will, will disappear like popping balloons. Well, technology is amazing, huh? Sometimes, like on my computer, no problem. This one is like, wow. Enter. I'm trying to play this on this little. Is it? Oh, yeah. It worked on the other ones. How about an enter? Or maybe option. Come on, please, please. Oh. Okay, it's not cooperating, so I guess I just have to describe what's going on. Too bad, because it's very dramatic. Not playing. Okay. Oh, great. Yes. That little... Okay. You might have not animated. Yeah, the other ones work. Okay, well, that's okay. So I'll just tell you what happened. <laughs> uh, this central plasma cell, the B cell, produces the antibody and it, and it radiates out, and all these cells here die. You'll see it, this, this black spot gets wider and wider, and it's just killing all these thousands of bacteria. Boom, 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 boom. And this took days, but in time lapse, it's Pretty dramatic, take my word. <laughs> okay, now, I hope this one works, but I'm gonna explain this. These are, are, are white blood cells <laughs> and they're called killer T cells. And these are cancer cells. In this video, you will, you will see if it works, the, the lymphocytes, here's a cancer cell, here's lymph, it'll walk over like an amoeba, crawl over and kill the cancer cell and blow it up before it has a chance to spread. And only a few people in the entire world were, were able to capture that. And it's right here, but if it, if it doesn't work, then I have to take my word for it. It, 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 did, it did work. Ah. I'm sorry. Oh, darn it. Oh, here it is. Okay. So here you can see these little guys and they walk over and see how, see how this guy is a, a lymphocyte. It's going to kill this. See that? It blew up that cancer cell. It, it destroyed it before the cancer cell had a chance to, to spread and, and do its damage. And here's another, here's one that's, yep. This guy just got killed and they're, they're walking over and they're looking here. Here's, with a little help from his friends, these two guys are ganging up on this cancer cell and watch, boom, killed it. This, this happens every day in our body. There's white blood cell called, what it sells called natural killers. And they survey the body day and night, every minute, every hour of the day, looking for little uh, growths of cancer. 
and these cancer cells are there and they go over and they blow it up kill it just like this happens if you were micronized and you're standing in the, inside the body this is what you would see let me let me go back maybe i figured out okay good okay i figured out how to do this now. <laughs> so remember that's the that's the antibody cell the b cell it's producing its antibodies now watch what happens to all this bacteria you'll see them all disappear like popping balloons see see how how it's spreading the antibody and it's blowing up all those cells this really happens this is true life inside your body so again you're standing and looking inside your body or this tiny and this is what you see that happens in a healthy body right it happens uh all the time healthy and uh, yeah now cancer can overgrow Ca cancer can overcome and de in and, and, and produce a decoy uh and and have the cells not really find the enemy it's a very complicated process, but that's how cancer grows. It grows and destroys all the surrounding good tissue. It just overwhelms them. So a good, healthy body will work with this and those killer lymphocytes that, that destroy the cells and other, other cells that work in combination. They talk to one another. And hide, hide, pardon? It's already doing that for us now. Correct. When they say that your white blood cell count is low, they're concerned because your body, your cancer can. That's correct. Blood. Yes, right. So uh, you're right. This happens naturally, and they're called natural killers, natural killer cells. Good term, right? Good appropriate. It identifies exactly what they do. Whoops. Okay, now this is the bacteria here. You know, the technical term. Don't worry about. It this is a bacteria and this is another type of white blood cells and these guys are like vacuum cleaners they're huge they're the biggest cell white blood cell and they will circulate and even walk through the cells of the body through the organs and they'll locate bacteria and they'll engulf them they'll actually suck them up and destroy them in, inside their own bodies watch this okay so here you see this it's reaching its its arms out, and and there's another bacteria it's surrounding it, engulfing it, and it's destroying it inside its own body. Little hydrolytic enzymes are working to get rid of those that those bad guys, and these guys do this every day. And when you have a, a bacterial infection or viral infection, these guys really work hard to get rid of that infection. They they seek out and engulf like like vacuum cleaners like garbage collectors and they just clean up the garbage but it's deadly guard or garbage okay so uh, again this is still my story and i'm i i made a lot of these films you know, six that won about 37 international awards and and uh translated eight languages and distributed 80 educational films this is a, quite a while ago but they're still the body hasn't changed so they're still prevalent today but those are just some of the films I did. And then, so you could say I'm a sale, salesman, not sales, sales. And there I am. And see, I'm busy with this <laughs> I'm a salesman. So I'm proud of being a salesman because it's my favorite thing in life to do is study sales. All right. So then that, that, uh, those studies led to my interest in hydrogen and myself and, uh, Dr. Garth Nicholson and a few other of my colleagues. Dr. Nicholson is the Nobel Prize nominee. He's a really high level. You know what? Check this out. Garth has over 700 publications. Can you imagine that? I spent my entire life, I only have 64 publications. He got 700. How does anybody in, have that power to do that? But he does. So we wrote this review article. And at that time, there were maybe 300 studies on on hydrogen so we evaluated all those and we gave a summary of all of those studies called a review article and it was published in the clinic uh, journal of clinical uh, medicine and here's the publication and here's garth and, and my colleagues and myself and, and 
to date, it has about 31,000 downloads, which is quite a bit for a, a technical presentation, but there's a lot of interest. The interest is growing in hydrogen. And then that led me to uh, writing a book. I did research and then on hydrogen, and then I wrote a book. Okay, so that's kind of the story. So why cells? Why, do, why are we so interested in, this, in cells? Well, cells are everything. Think about it, really. They make up tissues, like skin tissue, brain tissue, uh, uh, heart tissue. Tissues make up organs, like the, the brain, the heart, the lungs, the, the, the spleen, that organs. And then organs make up systems, like the immune system, the digestive system, the, the uh, neurological system. All Again, boom, boom, boom. And then finally, all this makes up the entire body. So you, you can see everything stems from the basic unit of life, the cell. That's what's so fascinating. And the cells behave just like we do. They grow, they, they divide like you saw. They uh, interact with, they're like little communities. They talk to one another. They help the body maintain its balance. And there are a hundred trillion of these guys, in average, in our body. A hundred trillion. That's a lot. So guess what? We have 150 trillion friends that are with us every day. And they, they help us out quite a bit. Okay, now, just in general, they do a lot more, but here, here's what the cells are designed to do. They create and recreate everything that goes on in every part of your body. They heal you. They, they, they actually can uh, nurture your, your cells in your, in your system and heal what's what's wrong in your body with the help of hydrogen too. And they keep you in balance and hydrogen helps keep you in balance because it helps the cells, helps the cells help themselves. Let's see, they also give your body its vitality. If you have cells that are sick, not, not very good, guess what? Your whole body's not doing well. So you wanna keep those cells in top running condition. And I'll show you the research that we did in, in cells, and there's many more that show this over and over again, that the hydrogen can help the cells help themselves and help your body. And it, it re, these cells restore your body to its natural balance, natural levels, natural settings. You want to balance. You don't want to have too many problems, and you don't want to have too little problems. You want to have just the right balance. And of course, better health. Okay, so I wanna to talk to you about some of the research that I did, and these are studies that are published. And I wanted to tell you how we do it. So we can get, like, take, take a biopsy of any, any, any uh, tissue in your body, any organ, like heart, brain, lungs, and then tease them apart and plant them in these Petri dishes. And then we can study hydrogen. So that's pretty basically how it's done, but it's very complicated. It takes years and years and years to learn how to do this. And then here the cells are growing. Remember, the red stuff is the nutrients for the cells. And then here different types of culture vessels. We plant the cells, they settle, and they grow along the bottom of the vessels. And then incubate it to, to the same body temperature as, your, as, your, as the human body, 98.6 degrees or 37 degrees centigrade. So we actually house the body, house those cells in the body temperature, just like just like the humans. And then we do some very sophisticated analytical uh, uh, instruments that will that will show us how these cells work and what they do. Okay, now let's talk about oxidative stress. There are free radicals. Has everyone has anyone heard of a free radical? Okay, a few, okay. So we're gonna talk about that a little bit more. Free radicals cause oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is damage. So free radicals damage your cells, damage your tissues, your organs, your systems, and your entire body. Eventually, too much. That if it goes rampant, you don't want too much, uh, too many free radicals that are bad. So let's go on to, oh, this one will show you the damage of the cells, but I, 
don't think I have the codec for that. It's not going to work. But these are cells and I put in a free radical in this and the, the, all these cells became destroyed in about three days. They totally, the entire culture was killed. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't have the codec for that. Okay, now what causes oxidative stress? Pollution. Check this. 70% of the waste come from factories and water, right? 70%. The, the factories dump waste in the water and it goes through the ground. And guess what? We drink it. So I caution you not to drink tap water. So the water that, that uh, Amanda supplies is probably the best you could possibly ever take in your body. Okay, China builds these coal fire, coal fire plants make uh, energy, they make uh, fuel, right? But they produce pollution and the pollution goes through all over the world. In fact, it goes to other countries in the world by the winds. And cars and heating your homes produce 90% of all of the, the pollution. And guess what? China, they make 15,000 cars a day. 15,000 cars a day. Amazing. And they're on the road and they their exhaust pr produces pollution. And planes, there are 100,000 flights that fly over the entire United States every day. And Pollen, chemicals, radioactivity, all this comes from the earth and stuff. That, that causes oxidative stress. Animals, when, car, when the cattle, when they fart, they produce me, me, methane. And you breathe that in, and uh, that, that decreases the, uh, the biological atmosphere. The, the good atmosphere reduces that. Okay. Um, Carbohydrates, a lot of carbohydrates, especially sugar, refined sugar. A little bit's okay, but too much can cause problems. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, any injuries or trauma or burns cause oxidative damage. And you, you know what it's like when you get burned, right? It hurts, swelling, inflammation, and healing takes quite a while. That's the whole process of, of uh, you know, trauma. Too much alcohol. You know, we've all been here uh, too much in excess can cause oxidative stress and, and all kinds of other conditions. You know, um, many, many liver problems, heart disease. And we've all been here too, right? Stress, you know, financial problems, loss of a loved one, um, anxiety, fear, worry, all of that when it's to excess decreases your immune system and produces oxidative stress that can kill your cells and tissues and organs. Medications. You ever read the, the package label uh, insert on a medication that you get? Sometimes, you know, here's what it does. And then there's like three or four pages of its side effects. What's with that? You know, and yes, warnings, warnings, uh, you, know, you got precautions and all that kind of stuff. And dozens of them, some, some medications. So, you know, does anyone know the reason why? why? Why pharmaceuticals, drugs, have tremendous side effects? Here's why. When a pharmaceutical makes a, a drug, it's a synthetic molecule. It's not recognized by the body. So you get take a pill and your body says, what's this? You know, I got to react to this. I got to stop it because this is this is killing me. Sometimes the, the side effects are more severe than the actual drug, than the medication itself, right? So it, it, it's almost an upside down system. You don't want to take a lot and cause a lot of oxidative stress. So what is your body like? What, what does it really want? It wants stuff that's natural. And guess what hydrogen is? Totally natural, absolutely, 150% natural. So why not take a natural supplement that doesn't have the, the, re, the severe side effects, it's safe, and uh, does that make sense? So we should have our, talk to our government, talk to our doctors and, 
and tell them about this wonderful uh, discovery of hydrogen. Now, uh, infections, like we, we have virus infection, bacterial infections, um, uh, uh, fungal infections, um, pro protozoa, parasites, all these things can cause sickness, illness, right? And we know, we've know we all been there. You, you, you cough and you sneeze and you have headaches and you're in bed and you're weak and tired and fatigued. That's oxidative stress, oxidative damage. And guess what? If you exercise too much, over-exercise, that will produce a lot of lactic acid and damage your muscles and cells of your body too much. I mean, a moderate amount is good and we all should have it, but over-exercise can cause oxidative damage, oxidative stress. Okay, now I'm going to do a demonstration. We talked about this, free radicals damage your cells. Now, let's talk about what is a free radical. I think we have a general idea, but do you actually know what it really does and what it means? Let's have a demo. I need three volunteers, two women, uh, two women and a man. Any volunteers? Okay, one, two, and one more woman. Okay, three women. Okay, three women. That's good. That's good. Okay, okay. So, look, no, yeah. Let's go. Okay. Look at these beautiful women. I feel nice. Okay, so this beautiful woman here is an atom, and she has two electrons, right? And these are in her outer orbit. And so they circle her body like electrons do. And you can see they're balanced. She's balanced. One, two, balanced. And what do you think? Nice set of electrons, huh? <laughs> nice. Okay, so now we have a free radical. You have one electron, and I'm sorry, but you're the bad guy. You have to put on his mask. <laughs> now, free radicals are bad. You know, they're they cause oxidative stress, oxidative damage. So. You don't want a free radical. And here's what happens. And you're the hero. You're hydrogen. And you have two electrons like we saw in the, in the slide. Okay, that's it. Just one. Yeah, just one. Mm -hmm. Okay, now keep this hand like empty. Now, notice she's unbalanced. Here's a perfectly healthy balanced molecule. And what the free radical wants to do, it wants to grab and steal she wants to steal an electron from a good guy, so she becomes balanced. Oh. See? Smile. See? Now she's balanced, but, <laughs> but not yet, because now she's ready to do her damage, right? And we don't want that to happen. So here, the hero comes in, hydrogen, and she donates an electron to the free radical. Now, guess what? They're, they're balanced. She's happy, and she's happy, and she now does not become a villain anymore. She's now friendly to the body. So she doesn't do damage. That's kind of how uh, antioxidants work. You want to uh, donate electron so the free radical stays stable and not steal from the healthy atoms. And then, yeah, thank you very much. You did a great job in, in, in saving their lives. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's a great question. I was hoping I was hoping you wouldn't ask that. <laughs> but but you know what happens? Now remember, hydrogen is a small molecule, and guess what? It just kind of disappears. It's it just it'll go through this roof, go through the body, and literally, if you drink or inhale hydrogen, it stays in your body. Maybe uh, it gets it gets in your body and all over in about twenty minutes. 10 to 20 minutes and it stays in your body for 24 hours and it does its cell signaling and antioxidant effects and and uh the free radical scavenging and all kind all of its good good effects so it'll stay in 24 hours but you want to take it every day you want to keep that level up
Is that, did I make that clear? Is that was that clear enough for understanding the basic? Okay, okay, good. All right, and then just remember, free radicals are 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 uh, reactive villains. See how mad he is? He wants that. He wants to steal that electron, and then he the, he's unpaired, so that's a free radical. Unpaired electrons and causes damage, and then when we have. Uh, the H2 antioxidant by, I'm sorry, your name again is? Lena. Lena. Yeah. Lena. 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 Yeah. This was Leda. See? Beautiful sunglasses, nice smile. She's going to donate the electron to the free radical so it becomes neutral, becomes stabilized. So that's, again, a, a, a summary of what we just saw in the demonstration. Okay, now I want to talk about some research. Um, Amanda, should we take a break now? Totally up to you. It's been, been about an hour. Late, All right, late. I want to take a second here and talk about our affiliate program. We'll be talking more this afternoon about it, but we have a special going on right now. So when you purchase any of our bundle packs, normally you'd have to pay $4.99 for the bundle pack. So the bundle pack is basic, or the uh, affiliate pack here is all the marketing materials that you need to get started with your own business. Because as you get this knowledge, you're going to want to share with others. So we want you to have branded marketing material. You're going to have a whole CRM program, which means you have a way to communicate with people. Text message automations, email automations. You're going to get actual live calls with us twice a week. We have a virtual assistant online you get access to as well. So we're really excited about our opportunity for the affiliate. So right now, this month is a special. So there's no joining fee. So that's going on. And then we have a very special event coming up in April. So this is Tyler LeBaron. How many of you have been to the Molecular Hydrogen Institute? Any of you? Okay. So there is a website. You want to go there. It's called the Molecular Hydrogen Institute. This is the founder, Dr. Tyler LeBaron. So about 14 years ago, he discovered hydrogen from the Enagic machine, and he got out of that company and started his whole foundation where he's just educating people on the benefits of hydrogen. So he's got all the latest research. So we're bringing him to Vegas and Bob, and we're also looking for one other speaker as well. But this is the first time we're talking about it. So we want you guys to know about this. We don't have the date yet, but it will be in April, right around my birthday. So we're gonna celebrate in Vegas. It's gonna be amazing. So with that being said, thank you so much. And we'll have more information coming soon. Thank you, Bob. Go ahead and come back up. Need the clicker. You want the clicker? And now Bob is back. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> okay. I have another demonstration. I want check this out. Remember we talked about sugar? <laughs> sugar, uh oh, that's right. Too much sugar causes problems, right? It's uh, diabetes, heart disease, even cancer. So you want a little bit. So the the glucose, this is glucose in in, in sugars, glucose. Um, you want a little because the mitochondria use that to make energy, and but if it's too much, then all kinds of havoc occurs. So let me show you. I measure the amount of sugar in, in a can of, of Coke. This is Coke. Now watch this. You won't believe, I couldn't believe it. But watch how much sugar is in one can. Check this out. Look at that. It's still going. Look at that. 51 grams of sugar in this one can. And some people drink three, four, five, a six pack a day. So six times 51 is 300 grams a day sugar. Don't do that. If, if you see Coke, throw it away. Drink hydrogen water. And, and if you like the sweetness, you can put a little... I think uh, Amanda has some great sugar, really healthy sugar that you could add to it if you want a sweetener. But, you know, you're drinking water any, anyway, so why not drink a little bit more and get rid of the bad stuff? Oh, 
are you trying to put down Coke or is it all? Oh, oh yeah, this is just one example, but uh, I'm not sure of the Coke has, I think, the most sugar. So chose that. But uh, Sprite, the ones that aren't diet, diet, all have a lot of sugar. I don't know about 51 grams, but it's up there. But, but you know, once in a while, it's okay. You drink a half a can or a little bit and then leave the rest. Or better yet, don't, don't drink it all. <laughs> but interesting, huh? Look at that. One can. Amazing, huh? Okay, let's get back to some more education. Okay, thank you. All right, so I want to talk about some research that I personally did with a bunch of great, my great friends and colleagues and associates, and I couldn't do it without them because they are the experts and we all collaborate to do the best we possibly can to find the truth. And that's what science is and research is trying to find out what works and what doesn't. And getting results and repeating it over and over, you publish it and guess what? It's available to the world, right? Through publications. So that's the whole reason why we do this. So here's four areas, but there's segments of each four area. There's maybe eight different experiments that we did studies that are published. And one is the antioxidant. We all know what an antioxidant is, right? Now we don't know what that is. We, we know what glucose, the bad glucose is. We don't want to get too much glucose. Number three, aging. Um, we're going to talk about that. And we have, oh, thank you so much. Uh, we want to talk about the anti-aging effects of hydrogen studied. And they're and this, I'm just going to review what I my team did, but there's so much more, and I'll just in general review some of that too. And number four, brain health. What happens in in the brain? What what can we study in brain cells that make a big big difference? And we'll we'll go through that right now. So let's talk about the antioxidant effects of hydrogen right now. Now, there's the cell antioxidants and the activation of this. This is a biomarker. Let's not get into the technical name. It's this long. But that biomarker is very, very important of how hydrogen signals cells to do the job that they do, the great job that they, they can do to help cells help themselves. So here's a little rendition, real simple, of the antioxidant activity of hydrogen. So we have a healthy cell, real simple. There's the nucleus and uh, real basic. Like I'm not gonna do this too elaborately. I wanna do it simple. So we added a free radical to a culture of cells. Remember we saw how you plant the cells and they grow? Well, we can plant the free radical in these healthy cell culture and guess what happens? The cells die, die, die and become completely destroyed. And unfortunately, you didn't see that one video that I, I want to show you about the cell death, but that's this is actual, you know, cell destruction. So we had identical healthy cells, and we added the free radical plus hydrogen to an identical culture. And the only difference is one had a free radical, and the other had free radical and hydrogen. And, and guess what happened? Let me know what happens. Anybody? Radical was overtaken by the hydrogen. Okay, close. Yeah, that, that happens, but the cells, they don't die. They remain alive. How great is that? Toxicity protection with, uh, and the, the, the conditions are identical in each culture. So this happens. It happens in the body, and we published this. So result, H2 protects cells from damage. So what else does it protect? Cells, tissues, organs, systems, and the entire body. Because that's what cells are. They, they're involved in every single phase of life. Okay, biomarker. Let's real briefly talk about a biomarker. Biomarkers are measurable biochemicals in the body. They're uh, also identifiers of a condition. And they test, you could see what happens. Like when you go to a doctor, he takes a 
blood sample. And what does he look at? He looks at the number of cells that you have, the HDL, the LDL, the, the uh, um, liver enzymes, and all kinds of other things. These are identifying biomarkers that tell the doctor that something is going on in the body that could be bad, or that is an overproduction that could be bad, or if it's normal. So that's that's a biomarker. And also, it's, a biomarkers can identify a condition. What happens when you have a high temperature? Right. And what causes a fever? Allergies. Allergies could be one. Bacteria. Yes, yes. But the fever is yeah, good yeah. When you get the flu, you get a fever, right? When you get COVID, huge fever. So, uh, fever or temperature is a biomarker. So you, see, you kind of understand what a biomarker is. Identifier. It's a handle that doctors have to diagnose your condition. Okay. Now we talk about this NRF two. Now let's. You have a thermostat in your home, right? And what does that do? It, it regulates the temperature. When the house gets too cold, it turns the heat on, right? And it heats to a, the temperature that you set automatically without even thinking about it, right? And if it gets too hot, it it uh, cools, shuts down the, the heater, right? Thermostat, it's a regulator. So it senses the level of oxidative stress. That, that's in, very, very important. This molecule is super important, and, and it turns on the natural antioxidants, the protective antioxidants, and it helps cells make their own medication. The cells have their own little pharmaceutical factories inside them, and they make their own medication. And guess what? Hydrogen, um, hydrogen activates this NRF2, and I studied research and that published it, and it's identifiable, it's real, it works. Hydrogen can activate this wonderful pathway. It's called a pathway. And, and the benefits, heart health, talking about that, we were talking about that, heart health, uh, metabolic health, uh, brain health, aging, and here's what we found. That's what we found, boom. Did it. And that's that's the name of this, but don't worry about that. Too technical. Now let's talk about glucose. Remember, we look at all the sugar that we saw in the Coke? Well, we did we did studies where we took human intestinal cells, real live tissue, and we looked at the absorption of glucose through the tissue. And we looked at this receptor site, it's a marker. It's a marker on the surface of cells. And I'll show you real simply how, how we did that. Uh, oh, I already did the sugar demonstration, so we're beyond that. Okay, now, H2 guards against too much sugar. How does it do that? Well, one way is uh, we have this model. It's, it's an in vitro model. And, and we put glucose, and then we put a layer of, these are intestinal cells. And then we looked at the penetration or the absorption of glucose through those living cells in the, in the intestine. And guess what? You see all the glucose that came out? We don't want that. It's, this is without treatment, no hydrogen, right? But when we put in hydrogen, look at this. So there's H2 in there. Here's, here are the same cells, the intestinal cells, and very little glucose went through. It, it, it aided in reducing the absorption through the intestinal wall, which is phenomenal. It, it is spectacular to me. <laughs> so I want to talk to you about this insulin receptor. Now, on the surface of cells, this is the cell membrane, right? Cell skin of the cell. There are these little receptors. They're insulin receptors. The insulin controls glucose. It guards against too much glucose. It it de deactivate, deactivates glucose. You don't want too much, right? So without hydrogen, and then guess what? With hydrogen, boom, it activated these biomarkers of insulin that controls glucose in a big, big way. So insulin receptors control glucose, right? And, and hydrogen increases 
the uh, insulin receptors. I'm going to I'm going to skip this one. Uh, aging. Okay, here's here's some biomarkers: SIRT one and telomerase. Now these are indicated inside the cell. The more SIRT one and telomerase, the the younger your cells are. So it, it, in in effect, it's an anti aging biomarker. So we studied that very carefully in human cells, and here's what we found. So here's the SIRT1, and it helps with the brain. It's in the brain, it helps, it's in the fat tissue, uh, in the pancreas, in muscle, and in the liver. So we want to get those, that, that CERT1 to a higher level to have younger organs and cells, right? You want a healthy young liver, right? Everybody wants that, and for a long time, and actually hopefully for the rest of your life. So we identified that hydrogen increases the levels of CERT1 in all those different cells. It's great. Now, telomerase. Okay, this is really important. If, if, if you want to take away something that, and remember this, and this, this is so impactful that companies are spending fortunes on studying how to increase telomerase and telomeres, the length of telomeres. So here's a cell. Here's a cell in chromosomes. Do we all know what chromosomes are? They're the, they're the, uh, this is one that's blown up. They're like little X's and they contain DNA and all your genetic information of what happens in the rest of your life. It's all in, in those chromosomes in, in the nucleus, right? So here's the nucleus. Now, uh, these telomeres are little caps on the end of the, of the chromosome that keep in the DNA from spilling out. And the longer, was shown in science, the longer those telomeres, the younger the cells. So what, we, what, what do we want? We want long telomeres, I mean, as long as possible. Remember, the chromosome contains the genes, the genetic information. You, you all heard of genes and chromosomes? So how do you tell a male chromosome from a female chromosome? You pull down its genes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so okay for another demonstration. So we need two women. How about you two? Right here. <laughs> oh. Now that's a good idea. That's a great idea. Now let's let's check this out. Okay. Okay. Can you take your take your clothes off? No, take your, take, no, 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 just, just and then can you roll up your sleeve, please? Just halfway. Oh, is that a sock? It's a sock. You take your okay. Now you're gonna be the uh the telomere at administrator okay so we want telomeres she's a she's a chromosome right she's a chromosome and so put put it on her both hands okay. uh, both, arms. both arms yeah and then yeah now okay so see how nice and long those those chromosomes are and see how beautiful she is she's young yeah. and, and magnificent so so she's got two long chromosomes right i mean two long telomeres remember <laughs> they keep in the dna we want to keep that dna well it might be a little coming out here see that no <laughs> okay so we want to keep those long you agree yeah. now what happens now let's let's say th there's pollution right and what happens in pollution it kills it shortens the shortens the de the telomeres right so let's decrease that telomere and watch what happens now this is really incredible of what happens see once once shortened so guess what the aging process happens with short short telomeres you want to keep them long so when there's oxidative stress 
That's that's what happened. Oxidative stress, right? Damage. Now let's treat it with uh let's treat it with hydrogen. Yeah, you you guessed it. Well, get someone hydrogen. Okay, now what's gonna happen? Yes. The telomeres are long. And and see what see it? She's beautiful again. <laughs> young, young and vibrant and beautiful. Okay, so that's you'll never forget this. You'll never forget what telomeres are. And this will help you understand the powers of hydrogen. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. We need a we need the assistant. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna turn her into an embryo. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Appreciate your help. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so telomeres, very, very important. Never forget them. And you will see that there's more science on telomeres. It's gonna be the like common language in the future. So many people are gonna try to find out how to keep those those telomeres long. So here's a little review. Here's a, a young chromosome. See, she has long telomeres and the older ones aging occurs, you know, inside the cells. Oh, we did that. Okay, now we found in our research that telomere, telomerase, which is the protective enzyme that keeps the telomeres long, we found it increases 148%. That's a lot. And I want to tell you a story about this is Scott Kelly. You may have read about him. And this is his identical twin brother. Scott went into the outer uh, the space station, the International Space Station in, in, in the uh, in space. <laughs> and he was doing research in this giant uh, space station with a, a, a Russian guy. And they spent one year, 365 days, every day doing research and stud in studying what happens in outer space now when he came back home they measured his blood and they compared it to his identical twin brother and guess what they found they found that his telomeres were longer than his brothers a lot longer and possibly because he was breathing good air that probably had hydrogen in it he was eating good food you know, in, in a steady diet, he was getting good exercise. He was living a life and he was less stressed. He wasn't as stressed because he was so interested in doing the research. He was, you know, focused on that. So he had a pretty happy life. And when he came to the U.S., his brother had shorter telomeres than, than Scott. Cool, huh? Pretty good idea. Pretty good story. Okay, so this is my hero. This is Dr. Elizabeth Blackburn. Uh, she discovered telomeres and telomerase and got the Nobel Prize for that. That's the highest honor you can possibly get for research. She got it. And I'm going to call her someday and I'm going to say, hey, Liz, you know, there's this great product, hydrogen. Take a look at it because it enhances the telom telomerase, it enhances the telomerase that protects the telomere. Hydrogen does that. And I'm going to see what she says. She might say, give me some of that. So uh, that's the story of Dr. Elizabeth Hap Blackburn, my hero. Okay, now let's talk about brain health. There is a chemical called glutamate. And this is a toxin in brain cells. And I'll show you why. And glutathione is an antioxidant, the most powerful antioxidant known to man. It's inside your cells already. Now, H2 decreases this glutamate toxicity. And what does this toxicity do? It causes depression. This is, all this is very depressing. So <laughs> you'll see it causes mood swings. And we don't, we, we don't want too many mood swings, a little bit, but not too much. It causes headaches. Nobody wants a headache. Dizziness, loss of balance, confusion, panic attacks, and rage. One little molecule 
glutamate. So we don't want that in there, right? We don't want glutamate in our brain cells or anywhere. So hydrogen decreased the glutamate toxicity inside brain cells. We published that study and, and all this other stuff, everything I'm talking about is published, okay? Now, glutathione, what is that? Glutathione is the master antioxidant of the body. It's, it's in there. Now, what we want, we don't want to reduce the amount of glutathione. We want to increase it. We want to get more for better antioxidant power within us. And look at the benefits of this. Protects brain from damage. Uh, improves mental focus and clarity. Improves, it reduces stress. Uh, increases energy. And improves performance recovery from workouts and all that kind of stuff. So we want to increase that glutathione level to its max as, as much as we possibly can. And guess what does do that? Wild guess. Hydrogen, absolutely. Hydrogen. And he, here's, here's what happens with glutathione levels. As we get older, now most of you are right around here, right? So as you get a little older, the glutathione levels go down and guess what? The oxidative stress goes up. So the older we get, the more oxidative damage occurs. And we want to keep that level of glutathione to where it goes down very slowly or not or hardly at all, right? And what's the best way to one of the best ways to do that? Hydrogen. Here's a publication that uh I'm the principal investigator and principal author. And there's all of my great friends and associates. And uh, Dr. Shigeya O oh is the father of hydrogen. He's the one that did the huge studies. And Dr. Nicholson is my best friend, Nobel Prize nominee. And you, you see, look at the amount of downloads. Look at 23 downloads. This one is 20. This was 51,000 downloads on this paper, and this is 23. So we're getting a lot of visibility with this research that we have done, and we want to continue. We want to do more, but it, it takes a lot of time and quite a bit of money to do these experiments. Safety. What do you all think of safety as far as hydrogen is concerned? The little that you know, what do you think? Very safe. In fact, when we review, pardon? Good question. Um, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> can't get too much. If you drink it, now, if you inhale it at a very, very high concentration, it's still okay. However, uh, if it goes in the atmosphere a little bit at a very high concentration, like 100%, and you light a match, it could ignite. Yeah, what? It's flammable. Yeah, it's flammable. It'll, it'll catch on fire but that's very very rare that's that doesn't happen uh unless you are in some sort of hospital situation getting huge amounts and somebody comes by and lights up a cigarette <laughs> we get yeah, <laughs> look at a black face okay so okay for many years no incidents and we we read hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of studies with no side effects in animals or man Zero, absolutely nothing. And especially when you drink it, you really can't drink too much. It's it's impossible. And the more you drink at a good level, the better ability the hydrogen has to go through every tissue in your body. Okay, again, no reported side effects. All right, now look at all of these tissues and cells. Let's go around the clock. Brain, lungs, kidney, muscle, bones and joints, skin, pancreas, liver, all the stuff, blood vessels, heart, eyes. All of these have been published in scientific studies showing benefits in humans with hydrogen. All of us. I mean, it's a shocker. I, I'm very critical being a researcher, but when I read all these, I could just go, holy crap. Okay, I want somebody, 
I read a poem. I wrote a poem about the research. Where's Kaylee? I want Kelly to read this because a, a, a woman's voice is much better than a, a harsh. <laughs> okay, so. Where would you like me to stand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Face, face the audience and then you can read it and speak loud. So, okay, so here's the first line of this poem that incorporates research on hydrogen. Hydrogen fights free radicals in your tissue. So damage to your cells will not be an issue. <laughs> when too much sugar enters your body like a flood, hydrogen can lower sugar within your blood. <laughs> Insulin receptors are on the cell. When you drink hydrogen, they work quite well. Hydrogen increases signals that slow aging to enrich a more youthful life is engaging. Even though hydrogen can lead to abundance and wealth, drinking it every day is great for your health. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Kim. Thank you. Yeah, so all that's really meaningful are part. We said it's bars, like it's a good rap. <laughs> yeah, let's make a song out of it. Yeah. That'd be cool. Mike, you can you can DJ a song to this, right? Okay, so here are some of the biggest findings on hydrogen. Uh, this is my opinion, but there's so many more. We want to just let's jot down a few and kind of realize that. These are the most prevalent and most abundant research in all of hydrogen research on these following. Diabetes. Now, glucose, too much glucose, too much sugar can do what? It can cause diabetes and big time and heart disease and even cancer. So we don't want a lot of sugar, refined sugar. Heart disease. Now, uh, in in China, Korea, and Japan, they have hospitals that deliver inhalation of hydrogen for severe cardiovascular heart conditions. Yeah, and it's, it's proven. It's, 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 and they're continuing it and getting good results. But it's not done here yet. Hopefully, the U.S. doctors will get on, on, on the stick and do it. Cancer, there's research on cancer showing all kinds of improvements in cancer conditions and in vitro, even preventing cancer from growing inside cells. So there's a lot of research. Skin health, improve the appearance of the skin. And we all want more youthful skin and we wanna keep our telomeres long and we want to have that CERT1 high powered and we want that glutathione. So brain health like Parkinson's and a lot of neurodegenerative diseases are being studied right now with some very good results with hydrogen therapy. It's, it's awesome. Uh, slows the aging process, right? Name one way. One way it can slow the aging process. Wow, see it. That's he, that demonstration. <laughs> see? Good for memory. I love it. I love it. Uh, there's some research now and actually really new studies that uh, athletes were studied and they can improve their performance and cycling and other exercise. And are you an athlete? Oh, yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah. And uh, so uh, it actually decreases the lactic acid that's built up and it, it reduces the inflammation in, in your muscles. So it, it promotes good, strong, healthy activity and recovery from post-exercise uh, recovery, post-exercise you know, conditions. Okay, now, most of us here are pretty healthy, right? So how does hydrogen he help healthy people? Re yes, very good. Reduces fatigue. Now, we, we only touched upon the mitochondria, but uh, does anyone know what a mitochondria is? 
What's that? Yes, very good. Batteries of the cell. These are the, the fuel furnaces of the cell that make energy. They, the mitochondria are the guys that take in a little bit of, little bit of glucose and, and food and turn it into ATP, which is energy, and distributes it to the entire body. So if we have healthy mitochondria and healthy cells, young cells, we will have great energy. So everybody wants energy, healthy or not, you want energy, right? Uh, it fights infections. And we all get flus and colds and all kinds of things. So we want, as we saw in, in, in some of those slides, we want the body to work as best as it possibly can to boost the immune system, to get rid of the toxins and get rid of the bacteria, viruses, and all that kind of stuff, and live, live a, a more healthy life, right? Helps manage weight. I mean, uh, uh, we heard from from Amanda. She said she was overweight and she got into shape by taking some hydrogen and a little bit of exercise. And right, it's the combination of many things that that can help, right? But when you feel a little more energy, what do you do? You want to exercise more. You want to become more active, and that's the key. So drink a lot and work out. You know, it could be moderate workout. Just walking is good. Slows the aging. We talked about that. Uh, decreases pain and inflammation. And ask Dell. And helps heal bruises and burns and trauma to the skin. We all we all fall and get bumped or you know get cuts, lacerations, wounds. Uh, and, and this is really cool. If you if you have a, like a cut and it's it hurts and you want it to heal, there's a little inflammation there. Take a, uh, a small paper towel and soak it in hydrogen and put it on that cut as, <clears throat> as well as drink, drinking it too. You want to drink it so you're getting treated from the outside in and drinking it inside out. So it's going both ways and attacking that trauma or cut or laceration very effectively. Of course, we talked about this good appearance. It helps that. It helps uh, keep your heart healthy. Flexibility and range of motion is very important. As we get older, or if we get get an injury, we reduce our flexibility and range of motion. Hydrogen helps increase that. And there are publications again. Every single thing that I'm saying to you is published in peer reviewed, reputable journals. Very important. Uh, Who's the function of your brain? We showed that in our brain cells. And what's the secret of life, right? We want to have a good quality of life for as long as we live. We want to maintain our, our activity levels. We want to share more Christmases with our friends and family. We want to share birthdays and, and holidays as long as we possibly can with our kids, grandkids, great grandkids. And I know people that do. Okay, immunity, that's, that's one of my, it's closest to my heart is the immune cells. And it regulates these signals to the immune system to make it work better. These are, again, focusing on cells. Uh, helps your immune cells do a better job, and all your cells do a better job, but the immune cells especially, and the immune cells do what? They fight disease, fight infections. And... Of course, the anti-inflammation factor is extraordinarily important. So having hydrogen become an anti-inflammatory is of paramount importance. And the mitochondria, the mitochondria are what? Don't, don't say it. The mitochondria are what? You already know. Powerhouse. Yes, powerhouse. <laughs> they're, the, they're the powerhouses, the energy furnaces of the cell. That's what gives you your energy through your whole body. And you said it, the batteries in the cell. Good description. And it balances the function. Okay, how do you take it? You can, yep, you can, you can uh, put, I 
eye drops or spray in your eyes. You can take it through inhalation. You can inhale it. And Amanda has some devices that you can, you can inhale, right? It's like little cannulas that go in like, like, like oxygen tanks, little cannulas. Um, and you just breathe normally with that for an hour or so or less. And then you can drink it, of course. Uh, come on. Okay. You can drink it. So I inhale inhalation, drink it. You can get it IV intravenously. And that, that has been shown and good research on that too. And you can inject it with hypodermic needles into your peritoneal cavity. And you can bathe in it. And you can put compresses on your skin to make it go inside your body as well as uh, the best thing is drink it and also put it on, on, on your body. If you have a sore, you have, you have pain, you have flexibility problems like Dell, uh, do that and drink it and you see for yourself. Now, this is water in the body, right? So let's see. Uh, look at the cells of your body. They're the most important, right? 90% water, blood, 80%, brain, 80, muscle, 75, the body, the whole body is 70%, and the skin is 65. So you think water is important? And if you have hydrogen water, don't you think that's even better than just regular water? You can drink both, of course, but if you drink more hydrogen, you got, look at all the, all the comp compartments of your body that it can influence. So let's spell water. Let's spell hydrogen water. Give me an H. Oh, give me an L. Oh, oh W. Wellness, right? Give me a wellness. Do a little cheer here. Give me a A. Antioxidant, right? Wellness, antioxidant, W A. Give me a T. Takes control of glucose. What does it do for glucose? Yep, it lowers. Lowers the uptake, lowers the absorption, right? E. Extends brain health. That was in our research that I showed you. And revitalizes cell aging. So that's how you spell water. <laughs> Hydrogen water. Okay. Now, okay, lunch is almost here, so we'll break in a little while. Um, you might be interested in this. Hydrogen was shown to decrease wrinkles and stimulate collagen. Collagen is like the, the glue that keeps your face young looking. It, 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 it tightens, tightens your face, uh, your, your cells. And drinking water reduces oxidative damage, reduces the inflammation of the skin, and reduces UV reddening. So all of this publication after publication after COVID, huge skin benefits. It's great, huh? All right, so uh, if you see this facial mask, is that, has that anybody ever seen this little mask? It's a little very thin cotton material, or I think I think it's paper. But you, you can put this on your face, put hydrogen water on it, put it on your face, or you could spray hydrogen water uh, on your face too, and then. Uh, what happens? The hydrogen goes into your skin. And if you drink it at the same time, again, treating from the outside in and the inside out, that's, that's the key. Both ways. Do you agree? This is my doggy. Buddy, I love this dog. He's my furry child. And Buddy is the coolest dog. In fact, he gets hydrogen faceless. <laughs> I gave him hydrogen facial, and guess what? Look at this. That's Buddy before and Buddy after. You know, I showed this to some people, and they believed it. They believed it. And they go, really? That really happened? They go, oh, it's a joke. But cool. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. see, he's he's happy. He's happy. There he's a little sad. His face is down here. It's a little smile. When he walks in the mirror and looks at himself in the mirror, he goes. Okay, now I want to talk a little bit about uh, other research that was done in general. There's so much more. 
and uh, again, 2,000 studies. Imagine that, 2,000 studies. It boosts the body's own natural repair process. We're constantly being broken down. If we exercise, our muscle gets damaged. We have to recover. So it repairs, it repairs that. And the cells of our body break down too. So hydrogen helps, this, helps the cells improve the membrane, the skin of the cell. Helps the joints and, and nerves, right, Del? Right? You have direct experience with that, right? Uh, and improves range of motion, makes you more flexible. When you say nerves, are you like neuropathy? Is that yeah, any nerve condition or damage, or ner sometimes nerves get, uh, you feel pain, you feel neuritis, that type of thing. It can improve nerve function. Now, diabetes, uh, this is a, could be a pretty devastating disease. And a lot of people, it's on the increase. Uh, even children now have more diabetes than ever before. And it's getting worse and worse. And it's mainly because of our diet and mainly because of that, little, that red can right there, <laughs> drinking too much of that and eating a lot of carbohydrates that are sugar intense. So, Hydrogen-rich water improves those conditions with metabolic syndrome, which is the pre-diabetes state. You have pre-diabetes, metabolic syndrome, that turns into the massive infection or, or, or problem, diabetes. And you don't want to get to diabetes. You want to treat with, with metabolic syndrome as soon as possible. And hydrogen can do that. 371 million people. And this is a few years old. It's probably more now. I th that is quite a large amount of people that, that suffer from diabetes. And these are the human studies that show, again, reduction of oxidative stress, antioxidant, uh, energy metabolism, boost the energy, total cholesterol goes down, and LDL. Uh, this is the bad guy, right? There's HDL and LDL. This is the bad guy. We don't want too much of this. Hydrogen lowers that. You get better blood levels and improves resistance of insulin. We, we, you know, we, we want to keep that insulin level just on the right balance. Hydrogen helps that and improves the, a little bit of glucose into the muscle, which you need for energy. And then this is an older study, but still very good. And soccer players reduce the lactic acid. It improves the muscle function. These guys got stronger muscles, you know, and we're able to play better or longer, and improve the muscle torque, the actual strength of the muscle. And radiation, it protects against radiation, uh, especially on the skin. And I have before and after pictures I've seen from doctors that have used it, and it's pretty amazing. And it proves, again, the quality of life, right? Cancer, um, over a six-week period, there was an overall improvement of of how, how the cancer patients felt. They felt better quality of life, more healthy, more active, more strict, more uh, uh, you know, good, in good condition, better condition. Uh, and consistent throughout a six week study. So each week they got better, 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 and better. So that's proof, into, proof of the pudding that when you take it for a while, it maintains its, its health benefits, keeps it high level. Okay, I'm gonna go this, uh, this really quickly, but this is the justification of using hydrogen with COVID. Now there are studies as we speak going on with COVID. So the virus gets into the lungs, gets into the little air sacs in the lungs, gets into deeper air sacs, and then the white blood cells uh, get, in, get to try to help with that infection. There's a release of the virus within the lungs, the virus spreads into the bloodstream, Organs fail, get sick, and get very severe. So how does hydrogen influence all this? Well, you have the, the free radical damage, and then you have, there's good and bad uh, uh, free radicals, and you want to reduce the cytokine storm, which is very prevalent in, in COVID. So 
H2 neutralizes the, by its antioxidant action, neutralizes the free radicals. It, it uh, goes after the bad guys and leaves the good guys alone. And it activates that NF2 pathway that I, we talked about and reduces the cytokine storm. So as I said, there are studies going on, and here's some preliminary observations in Chinese hospitals with COVID-19 patients. They, they've used hydrogen and oxygen mixed and proved their breathing, because remember, you have problems with breathing uh, with, with hydrogen, so, I mean, with, uh, with COVID. So hydrogen increases the, the lung capacity, the better breathing capacity, reduce the pain, because you're in pain, and improve those alveolar pathways within the lungs. You can measure that. And there's some testimonials, and you can see some videos in that link about patients who responded positively to hydrogen when they, during their COVID attack. And again, they're being planned. So let's spell health now. This is health with hydrogen. Hydrogen, H. E A L T H. Hydrogen enhances all living tissues health. Enhances everything. It'll get to every organ, every tissue in your body. Wow. wow. 2,000 studies, 170 disease conditions. Imagine that. That's what I said when I was studying this. Wow. All of you that are online, this question that Bob's going to do is for you guys. And I'm going to be in the chat and I'm going to see who answers it correctly. And we will ship this product to you. So wow. get ready. Okay. Wow, that is cool. Yes. Okay. okay so Bob, you're talking to the audience online. Okay. So here's the question that we already covered in the audience here, the live audience. Now for the online chat, here's the question. What is the insulin receptor and what does it do? So type in your answer. All right. Here, here we go. We're waiting. Yeah, didn't they already hear that? Okay, they did. They already heard that. They already heard the. <laughs> it's okay. It's well, okay. Just... Um, yeah, let's go ahead and skip that question. But uh, rep, be, well, we are getting yes, we're getting all the right answers. Wonderful, Nicholas. Good job, Chinatown. Awesome. <laughs> we got great. Chinatown here. That's that's China? amazing. Okay, so. Um, both of you are right, but we're going to skip that question. Go to the next one because you already answered that. Can we have the ask it online first, then to the audience? No, we already did one in the audience, so we're going to do one here. Yeah, different so question. different question. It's yeah. A different question up here. Okay. Should I should I ask this to the audience? Yes. Okay. All right. So go ahead, Kaylee. Okay. Explain how hydrogen decreases glucose. So explain how H2 decreases glucose. And so this one might be a little hard to chat. So maybe we're doing this on the fly, guys. So thank you for being patient. So possibly, let's see if we can do this. For those of you that think you have the answer, go ahead and raise your hand and I will call on you and then you can come out and speak. And then you can't see it, but. So those of you that know how to explain how hydrogen decreases glucose. If nobody raises their hand, then there's no prize. That's a tough one. It's a very challenging but we, one. But we, we covered it. It was in there. We did cover it. But it's so They got much their thinking caps on online. They're thinking. I see them thinking. Nobody. You just have to raise your hand. Um, there's a button. You click it and your, your uh, Zoom link there, and you can actually raise your hand, and I'll call on you. Edward. Alan. Gloria, nobody knows. Okay, I guess we're going to pass it back to the audience here in the house. All right, let's do that. Okay. Can anyone answer that question? Yeah, right here. It um it can't blocks the um insulin decreases how much insulin gets passed like the receptors. So when hydrogen goes in, it uh kind of the power um, makes it to where it decreases the okay. glucose to yeah. get by. That, that's one answer. That's correct. There's two parts. There's another part. But that one is good because it increases the receptors on the cell membrane, the insulin receptors, 
And can you explain what else, how else it would decrease glucose? Not right off. Okay. Not unless what, it's the antioxidant and just kind of reduce. Can anybody else that. finish that? The radicals take over. Uh, let's focus on glucose. How does it how does it reduce the uptake of glucose? How does it you know stop the from the cell from the intestinal cells? How does it do that? It stops the power to the intestinal lining. Yes. Okay. Yes. So increases the receptor sites on the cells and stops from absorbing in the in the tests. So let's split the price. It's okay. All right, and you're getting one of our disinfecting spray bottles. That's hypochlorous acid and hypochlorite. It's going to be able to kill bacteria and germs. It's good for your skin. Oh man, spots, smells, wrinkles, things like that. And then um, killing I'm going to be part of the audience. <laughs> your Here, you, you, you ask the minutes. questions. I'm going to be. I'm going to sit there. <laughs> All that's a, right. That's a great. That's a great product. If you could spray this on your face. Okay. So next question is. What is telomerase and what does it do? So we'll take that from the audience here. Okay. It keeps the Wait. Okay. Okay. And. Why is it historic? Do you remember that? Do you remember that lady, my hero? So what, what happened with that lady? Do you remember that? No? Okay. Uh, but you got part of that, right? And then, uh, so how does Zoomia work with tel telomerase? So telomerase is good, protects the telomeres, right, from a long... Wow, cool, yes, right on target. Give that man a great prize. Yay, wow. you got one of our stainless steel water excellent. bottles. Excellent, excellent. That, that, you, you knew the percentage. I mean, whoo, I, I don't... That's great. It's hard for me to remember. All right, online team, here we go. The show is on, are you ready? Get ready. All right. We got the next question, Bob. Okay, okay so I want, I'm looking at all the participants. So if you do know the answer to this question, you want to raise your hand. I'll call on you. We'll unmute you. And then you can come out and share your answer, please. Okay. What is glutathione? And how does Zumio affect glutathione? All right. So what is glutathione and what does Isomio effect glutathione. I'm sorry, I'm sorry hydrogen. Hi, hi, hydrogen. How, how does sorry. hydrogen affect glutathione? Yes. <laughs> All right. So if you do know, please raise your hand and I'll call on you. And I see uh, Ajahn. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and, yep. Hi. So we'll go ahead and unmute you. And go ahead. What is your answer? Maybe want to change that word to hydrogen. How does hydrogen affect? How does hydrogen, yeah, affect glutathione? So, what is glutathione, and then how does hydrogen affect glutathione? And so, go ahead and come on, tell us what you got. Oh, oh. it's really I, cool to talk I, all over I, the world. Huh? Incredible. Glutathione is actually a very super uh, anti. It's a very strong antioxidant. Um, yes, but that and wasn't quite the question, the answer. So, so okay, good, you got it. Okay, what's good then? Perfect. Okay, then how does how does hydrogen affect glutathione? Is the second part of the question. Hydrogen is actually making it more potent. When you use hi hydrogen, it it makes more pot, it makes the glutathione more potent. Yes, so it helps your body make more glutathione. Perfect. Brilliant. Mm. Awesome. Good. All right, so you are gonna win one of our. What was the what was the next prize? One of our water bottles as well. So if you can for me, please, all of you are getting Bob's book with his autograph. And so if you didn't already know this, 
there's a link in the chat. You got to go there, click the link, fill out the form, and you're going to get a copy of his book. And if you do win the prize, please email, please email us, and we'll send that to you too, so we know which to send it with, so we can just save on shipping. Okay, next question is here in the house. That um, third word, word on the second line, how does, what is that word? No, let's hydrogen? change that to hydrogen. That's a mistake. Oh, okay. <laughs> change it to hydrogen, yeah. Um, change it, I'm sorry. That's my mistake. Okay, so they didn't answer the, that question. They answered it. So next question is oh, for- well, The audience here didn't. No, they did it on, online here. Online. online. That was an online. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that's your book. <laughs> My prize. Okay, let's let's ask some more questions. Okay, I, I didn't write them down, but let's. The very first one. Go back. I think you skipped the first one. I just think. Where are you going to go after that? Okay, go to the next one. I don't think it's. What is an that. antioxidant? I was thinking we skipped that one too. Okay. Okay. I don't. Did anybody do that one? No, 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 no we didn't do that one. I think you skipped. Yep. You no, oh, that's the question. That one. No, I think I think we covered all. Yeah, I don't think we did that. All right, team. We yeah, are just going a couple more giveaways here, and then we'll we'll uh, prepare for my presentation in just a second here. Well, so let's let's ask a few more. We have some more prizes, so let's let me make up some questions. Okay. Sounds good. For this audience, is yeah. okay. All right, so. So let's let's talk about or uh, let me ask this question: um, How many studies have been published on hydrogen? Mm, okay. We got to raise your hand. You got to raise. Your... Yeah. Kayla, you have to you have to choose someone. Two. Louis got it. Oh, yep. Yeah. Louis. Louis. got it. Yep. Okay. Louis what's the it. answer? No. Correct. Yes. Pink, that pink yoga shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! No, nope, okay. that's Himalayan salt. Himalayan salt has um, many, many minerals that are great for your body. So, congratulations on that. Yeah, All right, the next question here coming from Bob is going to be for the online team. Okay, online team. So, get ready. Um, and what I'm going to do is you got to raise your hand. If you just put in the chat, so many people go into the chat, it's, I can't know who did it first. So if you know the answer, raise your hand and I'll call on you. How many disease conditions were researched with hydrogen? Okay, so the, the uh, answer here is online. So if you know how many disease models that hydrogen has been used in studies, then raise your hand, please. And yes, uh, Carl, that is, that is correct. But you got to raise your hand. <laughs> you didn't raise your hand. Okay, so that's all right. Um, we got two. We got three people online that answered that question in the chat correctly. Nice. So I guess um, we do have quite a few prizes. So on that one, we're going to give all of them a prize. So we got Edward. Congratulations. We have Bohan, and we have Carl. So they all said two thousand, or so they all said one hundred and seventy. So cool. Thank you. Okay, so there we go. Perfect. So we'll get with you. Wonderful. Okay, the next one here. Okay, next question is how how can you describe the the master regulator that that control uh, thermometer in the body? It's called NRF two. How how can you describe that? Raise your, gotta raise your hand. No, no, gotta raise your hand. Okay. Uh, it, it, it's actually a molecule that, that can be generated in the nucleus, but um, can you elaborate a little bit more? What does it do? No. <laughs> can you describe what it does? What it does, okay, it, it, um, it's the receptor. It receives, it makes, right? No. I'm off track, I'm off track. Okay, I apologize for that. Oh, okay. All right. So, okay. So, the NRF2 is a pathway that hydrogen works with. How does, what does hydrogen do to that? How does it use that molecule? 
You're, did you already win a prize? Well, yes. Yeah. Somebody knows. Okay. <laughs> no, you got you to choose somebody. You got to choose somebody. He he raised his hand. Did you win a prize yet? I have no prize. No, it's just water. Okay. All right. That's it's a good prize. Then. I want to say it fights free radicals. Helps with uh, metab helps with metabolism. Anything else? One more. Just one more. Squeeze, squeeze it. You can do it. Pump it. It's a protein that helps your cells fight free radicals. It takes the electron. Hydrogen helps something with I remember a little picture of a, a little. I believe online we do have the answer. Um, Let's so see. if we want to divert to online. Well, he's um, close. He's got he's, he's got a good okay. percentage. So, OK, so it's the master regulator and hydrogen boosts that master regulator to make it work better in cells and in, in, uh, uh, in has good antioxidant capability, too. So let's give him a prize. All and what's right. the. We have the spray. We have a Give him that pink outfit. He, I do yoga, but not in that. <laughs> They're doing what? Online. Okay, that's very good. I spray. spray. Yeah. <laughs> and spray the water for the skin. Yes, we just have to fill it up. Yeah. Hydrogen's great for the skin. It helps improve collagen production, anti aging. What are you trying to say, though? Yeah, you, it's going to enhance the natural beauty even more. He's already beautiful. He's yes, already handsome. All right. So maybe just one more. Um, these, these are the next prize is yoga. Okay. So this has to be answered by a female. Is that right? Yeah. Or? Yep. Okay. The ladies. Big Thanks for the good one. Okay. For the ladies. Yeah. How important is, is a yoga outfit when you do an exercise? No. <laughs> no. Okay. Out of these five topics, which one doesn't hydrogen which one doesn't hydrogen help? Skin, brain, uh, blood digestion or arguments arguments you're a woman now you got to you're you're not a woman okay that is right wonderful Actually, well congratulations to be debated you're right you're right you're right that, you're right yeah <laughs> actually we take that we take that back now that yeah, <laughs> that's debatable. That's debatable. Okay, is that it? Yes, that does conclude the gifts. So okay, everyone, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Also, I just want to add a little bit more credibility to Bob and his book. So, how many of you have read cover to cover, page to page, his book? Yay! Wow. Wonderful. This is a best sales tool. So, for those of you that are going to be an affiliate with us and you're wanting to go out there and help people, that is credibility. People don't believe you. Isn't that amazing? They believe everybody else but you. And so when you give them the book, they're like, oh, now I understand. So we're going to have a buy 10, get five free. So for those of you that are online, this won't be active right now because we don't have all the coupon codes yet, but buy 10, get five free. That's so you can give them out to your prospects and get this information out there. I'd also recommend that if you want to promote the products, Take his book, break it down, and do a video on the different chapters and what you learn. You make it into a video book. Then you can share all those out there. Your, your own explanations on video. What's that? You, you, you describe what you learned on video. Absolutely. By talking yep. to camp. Yeah. Yes. And so in Bob's book, this is chapter one. This is what I learned. And then that is a video book. So 10, get five free. All right, we're going to go and switch gears here. We're going to get ready for the affiliate program, telling you a little bit about that and the different products we have to offer. So in order to do that, um, we'll have to switch gears. So give us five minutes here. I'll bring some products up. So just mingle in your seats, and we'll be right back in just a second. All right, online team, we are on again. Here we are. So why are we here? We came this morning. Now we're here this afternoon. All of you online, busy Saturday. You took time out of your day, and why are you here? Yeah, 
But why? Why do we want this information? What are we going to do with the information? Best life. Is it for us or is it for others? Everyone. Yes. Life. Well, here's here's my why. I have to stand over here so I can get out of the way for you. These are my whys. These are my two girls, Jaden and Leilani. They're seven and eight. My family, my parents, Renee and Todd. So that's my big why. So you have the knowledge. Now you can go out there and you can help your family too. Okay. For our planet, most of us don't realize that every time someone throws away a plastic bottle, they think they're recycling it. What are they actually doing? They're causing more pollution because China used to buy recycled plastic. They stopped buying it in 2018. So all that plastic's now going into the ocean. And now there's three states, three sizes of Texas, three Texases, states huge, floating of plastic in our Pacific Ocean. That's three feet deep. So it's a problem. It's a big problem. So our health is sicker now than ever, and our planet is more toxic now than ever. And so when you're looking at a vision of the future and you're looking at a legacy, what do you want your children to grow up with? So if we keep going and doing the things that we're doing now, what's gonna happen in 20, 30 years from now? Well, they suspect that there will be more plastic than fish in our oceans by year 2050. And every time we're going to the store to buy the bottled water, we're supporting the bottled water company, which is a $34 billion industry. And it's no more than filtered water put in a bottle and it's being sold back to you. And it's doing this. And we don't even talk about the plastic contaminants when you're drinking out of it. All the xenoestrogens, all the carcinogens from that plastic. So we have the ability to impact the environment. And that's another reason why I'm here. Okay, so we got family, plastic. And now let's talk about our local area. We have Hanford. Hanford is known for the radioactive waste. So here I went online and did a little bit of research and I didn't know this, but Hanford has 56 million gallons of radioactive waste held underground tanks, solid waste buried throughout the site. 56 millions of gallons of radioactive waste. Wow, is that healthy or unhealthy? Unhealthy. So what do you think is going back into the water supply potentially? Do you hear about it in the water supply? Mm. Okay. So what I decided to do was I had to look beyond what we have in our local community and what the government wants you to know. So I had a third party test our water here locally for radiation. Here's what they found. We have, there. it should be zero radiation in the water. We have 2.17 uh, and the goal is zero. 2.7 PCL, I think that's parts per liter, but that's way above the zero. So what does radiation do in our body? Causes cancer, right? Causes cancer. Thyroid, radiates your thyroid. How many of you know someone that's on thyroid medication? Absolutely, you're tired all the time. Could be your thyroid. And we don't even realize it because we're drinking radioactive water. Okay, so that's a, a big problem. Another big problem here is there's a website called the EWG, the Environmental Working Group. So this is not a government site. This is something you go to, do your own research, type in your zip code, and it's gonna tell you some contaminants that are exceeding the limits that are said to be safe. So Safe Drinking Water Act was put in place in the 1995-ish area. They were only looking for 91 chemicals out of the 60,000 chemicals that we have here today. And so now fast forward to year 2023, they're still looking for 91 contaminants in our water out of the 60,000 that exist. And so this site here is gonna go beyond that and they're gonna find more chemicals to make you aware of what's in your water. So the EWG, EWG found in our Kennewick water here, 415 times over the exceeding limit of arsenic. 
I didn't really know what arsenic was when I was in the other company promoting the water device. I didn't know that the filter wasn't getting out these things. I thought, oh, it's got a filter. It's got to be getting out arsenic, but I didn't really know what arsenic was. Arsenic is a class A carcinogen. If you're smoking cigarettes, you know it's not good for you. It's your own choice, isn't it? And then on the back, it says warning may cause cancer. So if you go to the EWGs or the, uh, the website from the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, that's who regulates our tap water, it says there out of the million people that have cancer, 600 of those people are getting cancer because of arsenic. But yet you don't know about it. No one delivers you a little letter in the mail that says, hey, you have arsenic in your water. It's found in almost all of our water supply. So it causes cancer. It's a class A carcinogen. That's not surpassing the legal limit. Well, the legal limit is zero. Yeah, exactly. So it's parts per billion. So that so the standard is was set way back in 1995. So the EWG put a different set of rules and regulations, what they believe is to be safe, and that exceeds that limit 415 times over that limit. And it should be zero. Not good at all. Then we have our nitrates and nitrites. So this is 10 times over the limit. Now for these chemicals here, you can't even sell your home if you have them in it. Babies, absolutely not. Cannot have a baby drinking that water. Very unhealthy. Then we have 220 times what's called a total triohalomethanes. These are forever chemicals. These are also disinfecting byproducts, chlorine, Anyone know why chlorine is used in our water? Yes, it kills the bacteria, right? So the chlorine is one chemical, but now chlorine finds an organic leaf. And now what happens? It now changes the chemical to a different chemical. Those chemicals are even more potent than chlorine. So these are a whole bunch of group of chemicals that are put into one category. Okay, 220 times over the limit. All right, so how many of you shower? Quite a few of you shower, all right. Well, that's good and it's bad. Raise your hand if you have a whole house water system. A couple of you. Well, I didn't realize this, but when you're showering, you're getting more chemicals showering for 10 minutes than you would get. So one shower, a week long of drinking water. That's if you didn't have a filter. So in 10 minutes in your shower, 10 minutes you're showering, you're getting all that contamination, which would have took you a whole week, week of drinking water with contaminants. So you're getting more contamination by showering because you have no, no filter. It just goes right in your body. When you're drinking water, your liver can have a chance to filter it out. So you're getting more pollution by showering than drinking. Isn't that amazing? So here's some numbers for you too. So adults bathing, skin absorption, 63%, 15 minutes there, 27% in ingestion, and then water consumed per day, two liters. So it's pretty interesting, isn't it? So it's just something we don't know. You think you're safe and I'm gonna go buy bottled water. I mean, people believe that. They just don't know. So this is really, sad right because here's my grandpa in the hospital right now my grandpa's 83 years old we celebrated his birthday in the hospital he couldn't even talk he has a brain tumor he never really paid attention to his health you know we always try to tell him grandpa eat better food grandpa's got the kangen water machine he was one of the first persons that got the kangen water machine did he drink the water yeah he put it in a dasani plastic water bottle and put it in the fridge and then every once in a while, he'd drink out of it. I'm like, what are you doing drinking Dasani water, Grandpa? Oh, it's Kangen water. It's put in a bottle and it's in the fridge because it's cold. I'm like, well, have you ever cleaned the machine, Grandpa? No, never cleaned the machine. We call him Grandpa Buttersworth because he's very unhealthy. But when he's here in the hospital at 83 years old, he's got a big hole in his head. And his tumor got so big that he is not functioning very well. He says, what can I do? How can you get me out of this? People wait until their pain is great enough to change. When they're healthy, they don't think about getting sick. When you're sick, all you can think about is how you're gonna get healthy. 
So we have this information, we have these tools that are at our fingertips. You know, if my grandpa would have just listened a while back, he wouldn't be in this position. And so that's our job to help educate people and some will, some won't, but at least we have the information and we share it with them. And then we have this other gentleman over here. Now this is Valerie's husband and she was just in here. I don't know where she went, but this gentleman worked out of Hanford. He retired. They're gonna go doing lots of great things with their lives and traveling and spending time together. He got diagnosed with a brain tumor. He started coming in here to the store and a couple of days later, Valerie's like, I don't know what's wrong with my husband. I said, what do you mean? She's like, he just doesn't make any sense anymore. Like he, he's not coherent. I don't know. So we started him all the therapies. They bought everything. And now he's at home, he's on hospice. And here we are in the situation. And he also didn't pay attention to his health when he was you know, younger, but then he went through Hanford. He got all the radiation. So we have a way more risk factor than a lot of people because we are exposed to more pollution and more chemicals, which means as salespeople and professionals, we wanna go out there and really get people in the storefront, drinking the water, help to educate them because it's not fun watching your grandpa. We had to be in gowns and have gloves because grandpa's body is radioactive because he ended up getting chemotherapy. How long did he work? My grandpa didn't work in Hanford, oh, okay. but um, I, I can't, I don't recall how long it was. So that's the real cost. That's the real cost by not taking action. No, but see, that's why we, we got to have you because I'm only one person. I can't do everything. I can do as much as I can, but that's why we must have people like you to help us with our mission. This is the mission of our company is to free people from physical and financial pain. One household at a time. Okay, that is our company's mission. And how we're going to do that? We have high quality products that are affordable, that are low maintenance because Face it, the company from the past, it wasn't easy maintenance. I know there's several of you in here today that you asked your clients out of the 10, 10 years you did it, how many of your clients actually cleaned the machine? Maybe a handful of them. So low maintenance was really important to me. And then we want to be impactful. We want to impact as many people's lives as possible. Okay. So this is the product lines we're going to talk about. So we have our whole house water system. So the whole house water system is a staple. So if someone for some reason doesn't believe in hydrogen water, then they all deserve to have fresh, safe, clean water at every single tap around their home. So this hooks up in the garage, it goes in the laundry room and takes all of your water and goes throughout your whole entire home. And then it has five different levels of filters inside. There it is, or media. So there's five different levels of media. So if you're drinking out of Brita, that's one media because they have carbon in there. Carbon gets out odor, chlorine, and taste. What about the arsenic? What about the radiation? What about the pharmaceuticals? The heavy metals, they're still in the water. So our system here has five different levels and it conditions the water as well. This goes for 10 years with no maintenance. So if you don't like maintenance, you just wanna wake up and go in the shower and not have to change all these filters every couple of years, there's no maintenance. It backwashes itself, which means it's fluffing the bed, pushing it up and down. So now it doesn't have the little veins in there. Amazing device. I absolutely love it. I know Horatius has been li living at my home. I'll tell his story real quick. He's not very happy with me uh, about this, but he's very sensitive to chlorine. And I have a whole house water system. And I have two houses and there's two separate water systems. And I didn't know that. I thought one went to the whole entire home. And so he started saying, oh, gosh, I'm getting this itches on my legs. My, my baby's hair is falling out. Like, what's going on, Amanda? What's going on here? So he checked the water and he's sending me a picture. And he's like, you are poisoning us. And I thought, oh my gosh, I didn't know. I didn't know it wasn't going over there. So now we're on the, on the mend. We are getting another system put in for his area because I can't have that, you know? But when you get so used to your skin looking and feeling good, and then you have contamination, the chlorine's an oxidizing contaminant. So it's breaking down your cells, causing inflammation and oxidation. And so that's exactly what it's doing to him and his family. I'm really sorry about that. Is it 
if you were to sell your home, I mean, it would increase the value, of course, mm -hmm. if you left it. But if you wanted to take that whole system out and put it into a home, another home that you're buying. You Absolutely. Home. Yep. Yeah. And after 10 years, it's not, you don't need a whole nother tank. We just replaced the media, which is only around three to $500 right now. So maybe 10 years from now, it's going to be a little bit more. I can't guarantee it. Yes. Another question. Is that 10 years based on the average like family of four? Yeah, I mean, if you're going through a lot more, right. we have a bigger tank. Oh, have yes, we have different cool. sizes. So if it's a commercial building, bigger size. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if you have something specific in your water, we like to do a water quality check first. Mm -hmm. Then we can get different filters to make sure that we're getting everything out that we want to get out. Yep. So we'll send it out to a third party lab. They'll analyze it and then we'll make sure to get the right filter for you. Okay. All right. So part of the bundle pack here, go back, is also our home unit. So this comes in two versions, I'll, I'll share with you both. So the whole house water system filters it, then the water comes through here. This adds the hydrogen. So you have three different levels of hydrogen. It also has its own filter, which is just a carbon filter. It's not gonna get out all these other things, which is why you have the whole house filter. Then you have ozone. So ozone water is in here too for sanitizing, disinfecting, you can use it on your skin. There's lots of studies on that too. Filtered water. And then you would have heated water. So if you want to make tea, you can put the button there and make warmer water. Um, well, we've actually fixed a, a couple things that we didn't um, understand at the very beginning. So now we can actually get it for probably about maybe, I don't know, 85, 90 degrees, 90, 95. Yeah, not super hot, but yeah. It's great for your skin though. So you can use the beauty water. So you can have the on top unit here or you can have under counter. So this module here goes underneath your counter. So this even makes more potent hydrogen. This is stronger strength than the home unit, but it doesn't make ozone. You can have this go into your fridge and you can make ice cubes. Uh-huh, and you can go right to your fridge and get the hydrogen water. Pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, so that's those two units. So that comes with part of our bundle pack. You also get our hydrogen sports bottle. So this is gonna give you a very robust amount of hydrogen. Um, it's been certified by the International Standard of Hydrogen Association. It makes, depending on what button you push, push one button, that's five minute cycle, you'll get about 3.5 parts per million of hydrogen. 10 minute cycle, two, two, bump, bump, twice, you can get up to 5.5 to 6.5 parts per million of hydrogen. So in the morning, you wake up, oh, I had a late night, had too much partying, activity going on, have a little headache. You want to push 10 minute cycle because you probably wanna you know, give your body more. Uh, when you're hiking, biking, traveling, these are great to take along. Also as an affiliate, you're gonna want people to be like, what is that? So when you're at a restaurant and you say, I don't want any water and you got your own, right? And you push the button and it's there and it's beautiful. I'll even show you, I think it's charged. There's a filter though, right? Yeah. No filter. So see how it lights up? How long does it hold the charge? Well, you really want to push the button and drink it right after because you want it as yeah. fresh as you possibly can have it. But yep. If I were out yeah, I mean, I yeah, just press the button again. Yep. So there you go. You can also give other people a hydro shot. Would you like to have a hydro shot? You know, mm -hmm. who doesn't want one of those? Pour little shot glasses, put your hydro shot in there. Okay, so that comes with the pack. And then we also give you the disinfecting spray. So this is great for sanitizing countertops, toilets, sinks, mirrors. Anywhere you want to kill bacteria. So this makes two waters, hypochlorous acid and hypochlorite. So one's for the skin and one is for the, do I have it in here, Rachel? So we want to say, oh, there it is. Okay. One's for the skin and one's for sanitizing surfaces. So this eliminates household bleach. So it's very powerful and it's water. I mean, it's actually water is a chemical. So it's actually a chemical, right? But you just push a button and away you go. So that's our whole house bundle pack. Okay, so that's the server. So you can get either or. So if you decide you want the server, it's gonna come with this guy, and then it's gonna come with a, a faucet. And you have to have a little spigot on the outside, on the countertop, we might have to drill a little hole, and then we'll have a spigot there. Okay, awesome, yes? Um, the, the unit that you have like over there by the sink, okay? Can that be installed on the wall rather than sitting on a countertop? Yes. 
Yep, it does. It has a mount that goes right to the wall too. Mm -hmm. Very good question. Yep. Okay. Then we have our best hydrogen water server bundle pack, which without the whole house. So for some reason, if you don't invest in the whole house system, you want to get this one, which is our pre-filter. So our pre-filter here is our big home unit broken down into smaller filter. And it comes with two of these. So we put the same media in here. Goes through two levels of filtration, and then it goes for the hydrogen server or the hydrogen home unit and out the spigot. Okay, so this is the next bundle pack. So you have it with the server or you can have it with the home unit. So, and then we have our mini bundle pack. So this is going to be for people that they don't want a large investment, but they want good, safe drinking water, and they also want the benefit of hydrogen. So this bundle pack is going to come in around $749, and it's just the filter which you change once a year. You're looking about $50 to replace the filter. And then you're gonna have the spigot and you're gonna have the hydrogen bottle. And I get filtered water and you can put your cup in there. You can charge it up and you can take it on the go. And then it also comes with our disinfecting spray. Okay, so that's our lowest level of entry. And right now, for those of you online, we're doing our affiliate pack complimentary. So you can come in as an affiliate pack. It's only $499 to do that. You can come in with any of our bundle packs. We also have our four in one here. This is an inhalation. So Bob talked about how therapeutic hydrogen is to inhale and your cells have different ways they're gonna absorb the hydrogen. So this gives it to you in four different areas. So for anyone with any eye issues, this would go in the eyes. Hydrogen's getting infused right in your eyes. So glaucoma, Bob, what are some other studies that have been done on eyes? Uh, general uh, eye health. As far as uh, improving the sight, uh, some I think on cataracts, and mm -hmm. some on macular degeneration. Mm, macular oh, degeneration. Okay. okay, I was going to ask about that. Yes. Cool. There's research on macular degeneration, but yeah, I, if you want, give me your email. I'll send you the study. Okay. okay. What about dry eye syndrome? I think so, but I'm not sure. I have to. Yeah. There's so many. Eyes there. There's there's a lot. Yeah. So we have the we have the eyes. We also can inhale. We have the ears. So anyone with any ear issues, tinnitus, can't hear very well. Sometimes it's called selective hearing. I'm not sure which they're on, but this might help with that. I can't guarantee anything, of course. But this would go into the ears, and then it also comes with a little wand, and you put the wand in water, and it makes the hydrogen water there. So four different therapies in one unit. So the downfall here is that you do have to put distilled water into it. You can't just put any water into it. If you're gonna get this one as a bundle pack, we include our filter with it as well, under the counter or on top. And then we include the hydrogen sports bottle and the disinfecting spray. If you're doing this as a business, you're wanting to give the water out, it's gonna be hard. Unless you're planning on sitting there with the wand like for hours, you know, here, let me just charge your water. Let's just sit there for an hour and I'll get one glass, <laughs> you know? So it's more for, you know, at home use. It's great to have for the inhalation and the, the eyes for sure. But as far as giving out water, it's really nearly impossible to do this business, trying to give water out with that. Yes, 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 yes. All right. So some other products we have, this will be ready. This is our first ever hydrogen cooler. We're still making a couple modifications to it before it's actually gonna be released to the public, but we've got in here our server. So the same thing right here, we have inside of it and it has four levels of filtration that it goes through so it's infusing the hydrogen into the water you can make hot and cold when it heats up you're not going to have as much hydrogen however it's still really filtered and it's nice to go home and get a little tea bag and put your water it's right there just amazing okay doctor's offices hotels chiropractors all those people are going to have this this is going to be a staple so this is probably gonna be the number one selling product because so many people are used to buying the bottled water, it hooks to a underneath the underneath the sink. There's the the, the um, I'm not a plumber. I'm trying to be a plumber, but I'm really not. But it's the it's a saddle tap. Okay, you're gonna need a saddle tap, is what it's called. But it goes around the uh, plumbing that goes in and it just tees off, and then it goes right into the machine that way. So it feeds the machine the water. Okay, so that's how this one works. So we got that one that's new coming out, and we also have um, individual goggles, which we're out of. We sold out. We'll get more in. But they go in your eyes, just the eyes alone, and infuse warm and cold hydrogen to the eyes. Yes. 
Okay, so there's our affiliate pack special. Sorry, on the, on the goggles on those ones, mm -hmm. you already killed those guys, and that's the gas. So, so those other ones that you just showed are the liquid. Yeah, so, so these guys right here, therapeutic eye goggles. So that's just the eye goggles. And all the prices here are on the website. So we have the hydrogen sports bottle. If you just had that, it's 249. We go up to 7,000 almost for the whole entire bundle pack, 69.95. Okay, so we have all those wonderful products. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna have Horatius come up. I have a, another presentation for you guys. That's, we're gonna talk about the benefits of owning your own business because not only are you selling for the health, you're actually helping people with their financial aspect as well. And so I wanna help you guys understand that being a business owner has many tax deductions. We'll go through that. So Horatius, uh, I met Horatius probably, well, I met him in Anaheim, 2017. There was a big convention there and I went there and I never actually like met him in person, but he saw me and he remembered me. And uh, he's back in my life now since about what, three months ago? Yes. So he was also from the other company and he made it to my level in just a couple of years. Took me um, much longer than that. So he's got really good leadership skills. He is a pastor in the past. And so he's just got this amazing presence and gift about him that he's able to help people at a deeper level. And so having him on the team here with us has been really fun for me to see. People are coming in and it's literally uh, changing their lives just being around his energy. And so it's been really fun. How many of you had experience with Horatius? Yes. Can we give him a round of applause for being here, please? Thank you, thank you. Yeah, because I roll, I run a lot of different hats. You know, you don't see me all the time, but I'm working till two, three in the morning, you know, making sure things are set up correctly for you guys. And so to have someone that comes on board is able to take a lot of the responsibilities away is so rewarding and just feels so good. So thank you, Horatius, for coming into my life. I really appreciate you so much. Uh huh. And are you, is your microphone on? Everybody, welcome. We appreciate you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for sticking it out. I know it's a lot of information on a day, uh, but I'm excited that you're here because you got to hear from our wonderful guest, Bob, who just blew my mind a million ways. And I felt like a scientist at the end because sometimes in my presentation, I, I do the examples and I was just, oh, wow, I've been a scientist the whole time. It's shortchanging myself. Uh, so my goal is simple, is just simply share some more information about what we're doing here locally. Uh, what we're doing to impact people's lives in a life-giving way. And at the same time, for you online, giving you the opportunity to do the same wherever you are. So we appreciate you for being here today. And so I'm not special. You know, she likes to tell you I'm special all the time. I mean, that's that's not true. I'm actually quite special. You know, I was uh, 10 months in my mother's womb, came out 10 pounds, three ounces. That's a big, he got bigger than me over time. But, you know, I was winning at the beginning. <laughs> but yeah, so I've had the opportunity, like I said, come from the other company. Uh, travel the whole world, you know, we're in 12 countries, helping people all over the world, telling them about the power of molecular hydrogen to help your body. And so when I got started, you can see I was a little young in here in the corner, you know, young and sexy, sleep, you know, now I'm, I'm a father, so I got a deeper voice and look a little different. But yeah, so for me, my entry point to the water is simple. I love my children. My son's right there. He's on the spectrum for autism. And that's how I got introduced to hydrogen water, right? A friend of mine said, hey, you know, there's a doctor. She's using the, the water in her therapies. And I couldn't afford the $11,000 for the one hour sit down with her. But the zero down 125 a month, I could at the time. And so we got the water, helped my son. They said he couldn't go to school. And this year he graduates grade eight. I'm super excited about that. Uh, you know, because I, I mean, that's in kindergarten. They said he couldn't go to school. So, you know, to have a whole eight years done now, we're so excited. My mom, you see there, the queen of my life. You know, she raised 17 of us by herself, you know what I mean? And so for her, she was hesitant to do the molecular hydrogen water. She said, what is this scientific water all about? So she was secretly sneaking the water behind our backs. And in three months, she lost 60 pounds. She went down from 16 medications, Bob, all the way down to one. You know what I mean? And it's so funny because I launched a company in Uganda and we were on primetime TV, Bob, primetime TV. And this is when she decided to tell everybody that. She went from menopause back into her periods. You know what I mean? It's like, that's not the testimonial we want, mom. You know, <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> so funny. But yeah, the, the guy in the top corner there, that's my grandfather. Uh, you know, Sansa Sanjabi Sekulima, the first. And uh, he's a chief, a great man, and my hero. And uh, so when I got the news that they said, you know what, in two weeks, you got to come down here and say goodbye. And uh, at that time, he had been taking a saline drip. And I was like, well, you know, this machine that we have had produces a high quality, high pH water. Because at that time, we thought pH was the reason why everyone was benefiting from the water. And not, now the science is out. It's hydrogen. You know what I mean? But so what's great and why I'm so passionate about this is I got to have a whole nother year with my grandfather just because I got him onto the water. I got to live there. And the compensation plan was amazing. You know what I mean? We have even a better one now. And so it's just like so great to be able to use the water to impact people's lives in a life-giving way and at the same time help them financially to be able to make, build stronger home and a financial fortress around their families. And once again, this happens every time because <laughs> I'm too slow a little bit, but we'll, we'll get through it. There we go. And so my daughter had eczema at age two, no eczema anymore because of the waters using it topically. And so as you can, <laughs> Aureli that you see in the bottom there, my little Simba, uh, my lion, uh, we were, you know, in Calgary there, but I was just outside of Calgary. So I, I love this water because of what it's done to my life, my family, the people that I love. And so that's why I share it all over the world, you know, and it's given me the ability to impact communities all over, you know. So when I left my country at the age of eight, I was about this size, right? Got to travel the world all the way to Hong Kong. That's my partner, Tiana, in Hong Kong even for two weeks soon. And so what's really great, Dubai, everywhere. We just go sharing the mission. Why? Because we want communities to have access to clean drinking water and at the same time be able to access the technologies that are coming out, the molecular science that is backing us now to be able to transform the lives of people all over the world, okay? Now, we've already gone through the water that we're oxidizing or the water we're drinking is oxidizing, tap water generally. Most people drink bottled water, but I just call it tap water. Because as, you know, Amanda told you, they just bottle it, filter it, right? Sell it back to you at 3,000 times the cost. And you're like, thank you. I appreciate you. Take some more of my money, right? And so we know the water isn't just water, right? It's full of harmful chemicals, toxic metals. And here, I just found out, you know, when you sell someone on a dream, you don't ever really tell them everything. So that's what happened to me. So I came down here excited. You know, you guys are in a high desert. It's beautiful, great sunsets. No one told me about Hanford. I just found out like a week ago. <laughs> so I had to go home and tell the family like, hey, so I mean, there's some plutonium in our water. <laughs> you know, there's not, don't, don't worry. But it was just so funny to have that conversation, you know? And so literally, Shiz was like, why are we here? And I say, well, because the mission is the same. We want to help people, right? And so because of that, I, I always come against this guy. So one time I did this presentation and this guy was literally the guy who did it for the town I was in, Edmonton, uh, Alberta. He was there. I was like, I always talk about how he has to put on the hazmat suit every single day, make sure the chemical concoction is right so that nobody gets poisoned, right? If his wife is mad that day, well, we don't know. You know, and a few weeks ago uh, in a place in the, called the Beaches in Toronto, there was actually, they couldn't drink their water for three weeks because they had to put too much chlorine, right? They also have a really a nuclear reactor in the area as well. So it's not fun. So essentially, bottled water we know is just harmful to the body, oxidizing to the body, and it causes damage to our planet. And we only got one. So this is why I'm so excited to be able to present products that are built to last, right? Durable. You pay it right. I always tell people all the time, you do it right the first time, it's going to last a lifetime, right? And so that's why we have a 10-year warranty on the Elite Home System. Right. You see me one day. I say the machine. I see you 10 years later. I'm a little bigger, a little stronger. Right. <laughs> right. But that's the power of what we sell. Right. It's not just so, oh, we're all going to just make a bunch of money. It's not about that. It's the impact. If you think about a family of four, 10 years, what's that? That's 40 years, isn't it? So we've affected 40 years on the planet just by giving people clean drinking water. Right. So how many people do you want to help? Right. Next time we do one of these events, did you guys benefit from the information you learned here today? Do you think that you should have brought more people with you, right? And so as we continually build out into this community, what we're looking for is partners that are willing to do something about it. Right? It's not enough to just change your water. You got to also help other people change their water because we want to impact the community in a life-giving way, okay? So I'm not going to be long-winded. I'm a preacher's son, so I can be. <laughs> so, but, you know, ever heard of the Fountain of Youth, that story, that fable, 
right? Well, there's seven places in the world where the water naturally comes out of the ground, where it's got, you know, a high pH, an electric charge on the water, and people will literally fly there, live there for three to six months just so they can get some benefit, see if that miracle water is going to help them. Now, isn't it amazing to be able to, at a push of a button, just do the same thing? You don't got to leave the whole family. Sorry, wife. Uh, I heard France is she's going to let you go to France and just take care of your health. No, right? But now, zero down, $80 a month, you can go ahead, press the button, and take care of yourself. Make sense? And if it makes sense, it makes dollars. So, if you've heard of antioxidants, Mr. Bob did us a great favor teaching us how they actually help the body and having molecular hydrogen as the smallest one on the whole planet, and you get to have ample amounts of it. I love the hydrogen. I have my kids drinking it two times a day in the morning and then two times right before bed so they can sleep effectively through the night. So amazing. Just had a push of a button. Everything is easy here. And so that's why we want you to make the right choice for you, for your health, and your family. All right. With all that being said, I could go on. I'm sure you'll see me again. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to stand here before you. I'm looking to work with you online here locally so we can transform the community in a life-giving way. Who's with me? All right. Awesome. Thank you. That being said, <laughs> Amanda's got another great presentation for you to show you how you, how you can make some money. Awesome. So for those of you that are online and you're wanting this opportunity, there will be a booking link that Gazel will go ahead and put into the chat box there. Just go ahead and book an appointment with us and we'll be happy to tell you how you can take action and we can work with you. So as an affiliate with us, you get the whole affiliate pack, which we talked a little bit about, but I want to go just a little bit deeper into it. So the affiliate pack comes with a bunch of containers because you're going to want to give out the water. And then it comes with Horatius. He's going to come over there, help you. No, just kidding. I didn't Isn't get the great? memo. I know. Right. You have to put on that. Well, all right. It comes with some hydrogen blue drops. It comes with Bob's book as well. So it also fun. comes with a very in-depth CRM program. So the CRM program is going to keep track of your whole entire organization as it grows. And it is a very robust, and it's kind of overwhelming at first. And so we have Gazel, which is our virtual assistant online, and she onboards everybody. So we give you a landing page. It's just a plain landing page with your picture on the front. So when you send it to people, they're like, oh, wow, this is you. I love it. And they click the button, it goes to the website, and they can purchase the product, and it goes right to you. Thank you. So you get that. So you got landing page. You got marketing material. So we have a whole bunch of marketing material there. We put your own brand on it. So you're talking to your friend. And she's like, how do we get more information? You're like, here's my brochure. <laughs> It's got your name on it, your email on it, your phone number on it, your website on it. We have all that for you as well. We do Zooms twice a week. So Mondays and Thursdays. And we're start ramping up the online as well. So we're doing presentations every 15 minutes on Monday nights. So you can invite people to that too. So we really just want you all to be successful. That's our goal. That's our mission is to help people what? Physically and financially. And we're going to do that one whole household at a time using hydrogen. So the next event is going to be in Vegas. We talked about a little bit about that earlier, but we always build event to event. So at this event, we're talking about the next event. At that event, we're talking about the next event. It just keeps growing bigger and bigger and bigger. Every Saturday here at noon, we do a presentation. We've been having food as well. So the reason I do that is not to just feed people. It's because I want you to have a tool when you're talking to people, hey, let me buy you lunch or let, me, let, it, let the storefront have lunch on, on the house. Right? Bring them in. They get the information. What are they going to do? Oh my gosh, it's so amazing. I want to do it too. So we teach you the skills necessary to invite people because it's actually a skill. So we're going to take you through the whole process. You're going to get a bunch of my digital training programs, which we'll go through in a minute, that have been featured on CNN, NBC, Fox News with Jack Canfield, which you'll get to see the interview. So there's a lot of bonuses, and we just want to help you. We have a brand new compensation plan that I've been so excited to tell you about. I can't tell you about it yet. So tomorrow I'm going to be telling you about it. I know because it's so amazing. And I just, I want to be in the comp plan, you know, it's that good. So um, we're going to be announcing that tomorrow at the home retreat. So we also have a facility in Pasco. So every three months we're going to be hosting a retreat. So for those of you that want some one-on-one -on -one time, you know, Bob's going to be there tomorrow. So the affiliates... They graduated the three months. We brought our first group of affiliates in and they're all still active and they're selling stuff now. It's amazing. They're me interviewing Bob. 
And so we're going to video that and they can use that as a credible source online to share. So every three months we do that as well. All right. So I wanted to tell you, I don't know where to stand because I'm not used to this. Okay. All right. So we are going to be talking about affiliate marketing and taking control of your future. Okay. So here we are. This is me, obviously. Uh, does, does school teach you how to learn and become successful? That is a question of the day. Does school teach you how to learn? and how to be successful. No, I don't believe that it does, okay? School teaches you information. That's what school is doing, it's teaching us information. And so how do you actually learn? Okay. Learning is doing. So all the information in your mind is there, but you didn't learn it because you're not doing it. So we're going to actually teach you how to learn and to become successful. So learning is doing. That's me. When I built the King and Water business, I got known online. That was that was me. Um, videos, closing deals in heels, cell phone, computer, everywhere in the world. And then I developed a program around it called the Laptop Lifestyle. Because I want to teach people how to make income online, helping people, and then having a global brand. Because online, we have more people present online than we have here. So online, you can be omnipresent. And you can impact way more people's lives. And so when I started this business, I was just belly to belly, person to person at Beaver Bark, helping people there. And then I took a leap of faith and came out of that position. And I decided to go online. So there was an up and down slope there for a little bit. But once I got online, started building the brand, I was like, I couldn't believe it. I flew to Dubai. I didn't think I knew anybody over there. And here, all these people kept messaging, Amanda, I follow you. I want your autograph. Can I meet with you? I was like, I had no idea the power of the internet. And there is a reason that people don't go on the internet. Do we know what that is? <coughs> They're afraid of being in front of people. They don't want to get out of their comfort zones. They don't take the actions. They don't post. They don't do a video. So we help you move past that as well. So, oh, this was the video I want to play. If we can make it louder. <coughs> I don't know how. Yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna be my girl? <laughs> Tell my hand to come with me because you look so fine. I don't really wanna make you mine. Really wanna make you mine. Come on and get your kicks. Now you don't need money with the face. Let's do ya. So this business gives you freedom. What do people want? All people, what do they want? Time, money, and freedom. And so when I developed the laptop lifestyle, I was like, where am I going to go this week? I'm just going to pack up, go to Vegas, go to Dubai. And I'm just going to live the laptop lifestyle, talk to people, do sales there anywhere I wanted to go. And it supported me financially to do that. And so that became so fun to me. And then COVID kind of happened and the travel restriction kind of happened. Then I said, I want to get back to my roots. You know, it all started here. And so I put a storefront together so that you guys could have an opportunity just like I did to change your life. You just got to believe in yourself. You know, you got to take the action, let go of the fear and the doubt. So we're building a hundred locations. This is the number one. And those of you online, you want to do this too? We're going to get the communities in the local area. You're going to build that area 
and then we'll put a storefront there. You can support them. So we'll go to the places that I like to go, which is like warmer areas. <laughs> I don't want to be in a cold area, okay? But I mean, they can they can be there. It's just I probably won't visit quite as often. Okay, so um, I got I had to get out of my comfort zone. So you know that more people would rather die than speak in front of people. And so when I went to this event, this was in, um, I forget where this was at actually, but it was it was really far away. Okay, I'll get you in a minute. It's gonna be there. I need more water. Is what I need. So Australia. Okay, so I was in Australia, and I was thinking to myself, oh my gosh, I have to speak in front of all these people, and I was invited there, so I couldn't get out of it once I was there, right? And I did a wonderful job, and it gave me the confidence to do it. But I had to get out of that comfort zone. I had to get out of the fear. And so you're gonna have to go through those moments of time when you don't really wanna do it because you're nervous, but you know you gotta do it anyways. So if that little voice in the back of your head is like, I don't think you should, what do you gotta do? Gotta do it anyways, because that's the old self holding you back. So you are the only thing that holds you back. You know, it's all these excuses in our head, oh, we can't do it, that gets to us and then we don't do it. Okay, so if you really want the opportunity is there for you and you got not be afraid to fail. You know, there I am shopping, having fun. I went to Dubai and I rented all these fancy cars because like, hey, I want to rent these cars and how do I write it off of my taxes so I can save some money doing so? So I got the Bentley and the Rolls Royce, you know. Then I got to go to shopping at Louis Vuitton. got to get, you know, thousands of dollars of clothes because I got to be on the videos on the YouTube channel, you know, because like, it's a business. That's what we're talking about, right? How to save money. And you can do that because you have a business because you now you have tax deductions. So I'm telling you all this, this is a, I love cars. I love cars. And so I actually had a, a gal that I hired Marjorie, she was there all the time. So she and I would both travel and she'd be videoing me and you know, I would be doing a laptop lifestyle. So it's very possible. So there's laptop lifestyle. Oh, it might, might need to get it louder again, possibly. So I'm gonna show you the interview that I did at Hollywood Live. I was invited to Hollywood Live. How many of you know who Jack Canfield is? Yeah, chicken soup for the soul. Yeah, so I got invited to Hollywood Live to be interviewed with him. So it's a seven minute video. And I'm going to show you that here about the laptop lifestyle. I can't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Hollywood Live. I'm your host, Jack Canfield. I have a great guest today, Amanda Bobbitt. She has a company called Royal Wealth Solutions, and she is doing some really cool work. It's got a new program I want to talk about. Well, welcome to the program. Thank you, Jack, for having me. Glad to have you. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Yeah, I'll kind of tell you my background where I started about nine years ago. Nine years ago, it started with Health Journey. I spent nine years being chubby obese and mercury poisoning and drinking fatigue. As a female, I had lost my female plate for eight years. So it was doctor after doctor, pill after pill, same story, but it ate me. And so one day, this amazing water came into my life and transformed my life. To the point where people were asking me, Jack, it's like, what are you doing? It seemed like you're losing weight, losing energy, your skin cold. I said, I think it's just water. They looked at me and they're very skeptical. And at the time, I was working at my parents' garden center. So I said, you know what? Why don't you try some of this water? And a little before you know, people started getting results. So I started selling these units, very high ticket items, and got very successful doing it. Until one day I said, you know what? I don't want to be at my parents' garden center anymore. I'm going to impact more people's lives. So my income dried up. I left my parents' store. And I was thinking, what am I going to do? And what I decided to do was go on social media. And so I started building a brand online organically and started getting followers from all around the world. And I started selling these units online and people started coming to me asking me if I'd help them with other programs or other products and services out there to help them get recognized. And so that leads me into my newest company, Real Wealth Creations, where I help people globally go out there and create a brand online on social media and to be able to really get that income that they want out of their life. Great. So talk about 
your mission and your vision as you experience it now? So really my vision, my mission is to free people from physical and financial pain. Those moms and dads that want to be staying at home with their children, or maybe they're in a dead-end job that's working paycheck to paycheck, and they want to go online and really build their themselves online. Maybe a product that they are using, that they love, that they think, you know what? I think I can go online and create a brand. And so I want to be able to help people achieve financial abundance. That's great. So you're doing some really unique things. Tell, tell me about that. Absolutely. So I just launched a new course for the laptop lifestyle. I love that title, the laptop lifestyle. Yes. And so people that see me on social media now, they're going to see that I'm everywhere. I'm omnipresent and I'm working right from my laptop or my cell phone anywhere in the world. So I just got back from Vegas and I was doing race cars down there and driving and just showing people that they can have the be and do anything they want out of this life. That's really good. So before we came on here, you were telling me a story about one of your clients. Could you share that with our viewers? Absolutely. And it, it starts with my friend Mark. He's about seven years old. And this gentleman doesn't know anything about social media. He doesn't know how to even put himself out there on Facebook, doesn't know anything about YouTube. And within about two weeks of working with me and, and teaching him some of these skills that I learned, he's got sale after sale. And he's closing deals online now, and he didn't even know how to put himself out there. And so he went to my training program, started learning the alert method, which is where your direct target audience comes directly to you. I know a lot of people, they're like, I don't want to chase after my friends and family, and I'm, I'm not a salesperson. Like, you don't have to be a salesperson. It's all about delivering great value and content and getting your direct audience. Once you do that, you start adding value. People start showing up in your inbox. They're like, hey, I noticed you have this unique program or this unique service. I'm interested in how to acquire it. And so that's what I teach people in real life. Get your audience to come directly to you and then you have to chase after them. And you said you call that alluring method. The alluring method. So the alluring method. Yeah, and I don't know, there's a lot of clients that I work with over the past couple of years. They're spending thousands of dollars online and they click it. I mean, it's draining their bank account, and they're not getting any results. And so one of the things that I feel very proud of is that everything I've done has not been paying ads. It's been going out organically and really getting that unique audience that is your fan for life. And they just keep coming back over and over and over again. That's great. I think everybody wants that. Yes. So let me ask you this question. So do you have one piece of advice for people about how they can try, given the times we're in right now, what would it be? Something outside of your job. Because the job will only pay you what the time is worth. And especially right now with our economy, it's very uncertain if you're going to have a job. So start an online business. Be a business owner. Uh, one of my wonderful things that I love to do is to teach people about business and taxes. We have a whole tax division as well, where I teach people, hey, if you have a job and you don't have a business on the side, you're missing out on thousands of dollars Deductions, cell phones, computers, you're driving your car. Some of the smart things you can do is have a business out of the comfort of your home. It's really good. And I think, too, given the times we're in, it sort of helps you be a little bit recession proof if you have your own business because you never know what's going to happen with the, the JOB. Yes. And the only person you can really count on is you. It's pretty good. And so put those skills in your mind. Personal development is key. I teach a lot of sales skills as well. Just become that leader that people are looking for. Very cool. So if people want to work with you, and I don't know why they wouldn't want to, uh, where do they go? How do they find you? Absolutely. Thank you. AmandaBobbitt.com. Go to my website. You can also go to my YouTube channel. Find me on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. Very good. All right. You heard it here, folks. You should have a multiple source of income. This woman, Amanda Barber, can help you do that. You know how to reach her. I'm sure that you can do that. Thanks for watching today, and stay tuned. We'll have another guest after this break. Hollywood Live. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, that was fun. So when I was doing the Kangan business, people couldn't understand how to do their taxes because as a business owner, you have all these deductions. Oh, is it going back again? Okay. So too fast. It already blew the, the cover here. Anyhow, um, so I ended up doing taxes for people for three years. 
Um, there's a gentleman here locally that helped me save a lot of money because I didn't realize at one point in my career, I made a whole bunch and I didn't spend any of the money. And guess what happened? I got a huge tax bill. I was like, that's more than people making a whole year and I have to pay that in one bill. Like, you're not happy about that. So then I was like, okay, I got to do something here. So I, I found out how to save a lot of money in your taxes. And then I started helping the Enagic team do that same thing. So I was saving an average of three to 8,000 a year just by having a business. So their whole entire machine is write-off. But here I am. I was a special ed student. So I'm, I'm saying, I'm telling you this because it's vulnerable. So I don't really want to share this information, but you see where I was, you're right. But you don't know where I came from. So I was always the one in class not paying attention. My biology teacher said, I think you got a problem. Let's go in the hall. You have a learning disability. I was like, okay, in ninth grade. So my high school years were all spent in special ed. There's only a few people in the room. You know, I had to appeal for my credits, barely graduated. Never went to college. But I was raised by parents that are entrepreneurs. And I watched them build their global bu their business here, which is massive. And so why I'm telling you this is that it doesn't matter where you came from. You can do it if you want it. So you just have to want it. But you got to know why you want it. It's got to be your goal. It's really, really deep inside you that nobody, you don't tell anybody about that drives you. Okay. So it doesn't matter where you came from because if I can do it, being in special ed, never going to college, then you can do it too. And I can't spell. I mean, ask anybody that you know. I have to have all my PowerPoints, you know, three or four times over because it's just, that's just me. Okay. And then, you know, here I am. Dreams to reality. Whatever you see here, you can do it. If you can see it, you can do it. So I've been just practicing, seeing if I can do it. And I put a goal out there and I get it. And I'm like, okay, what's, what's next? Let's get a bigger goal. That's why we created the goal we created because it's bigger. When we get there, we're like, oh, that was, didn't take us very long. You know, it probably should have been bigger. So don't set your goals too low, set them really high. Know you're going to get there. Okay, so the school system. Now we're going to talk about how it's broken. It was put in place to create employees. How many of you would agree? You go to school to learn how to be an employee if you learn anything. Someone tells you what to do. You have a bathroom break. Raise your hand. Okay, go. Schedule throughout your day. Okay. So you are taught to go to school, to get a job, to earn money for other people. Then retire when you're 60 and live off of 50% of what you're making when you're working. That's what they're teaching us. That's what they're teaching all your kids too. Okay. So our tax system was put in place to help business owners save money. So the tax system is to help business owners save money. And guess who gets paid all the taxes? Most of them. Employees are taxed the highest with no deductions. So employees get taxed the highest. The business owners save the most. So how do we change that? Well, there's two different types of tax systems here in the U.S. So we have the W-2 in the employee, which is created to take your wealth. Employees pay the most taxes, and there's no tax deductions. Then we have the business owner, which is self-employed. So you're a 1099 here, so you're self-employed. And you can still be an employee. That's fine, too but it's created to help you create wealth. Business owners create employment and economies. That's what they do. And there's massive tax deductions for doing that. So the average American is overpaying three to $8,000 in their taxes every year. They're overpaying. So write an $8,000 check to me every year. Every year you're doing that, you just don't realize it because it's coming out of your paycheck. You look at your paycheck, like, that's what I got, but how, where did all that money go? It adds up. And that's your overpaying by not having a part-time business. So the easiest solution is we're going to move you from the employee tax system to the business owner tax system. You're going to join us here with Healthy Hydration, right? And then you're going to spend a few hours a week working in your business. That's going to qualify you to have the benefits. Why is this important? Because 46% of the average Americans don't have an extra $400 in their bank account. That's almost half the population doesn't have an additional 400. So what happens if you lose a week of work or you get into an accident and you only had 
to your name? Well, 66% of Americans don't have an extra $1,000 to their name. Okay. Taxes are the biggest expense for employees. So the average American spends more on taxes than they do on food, housing, clothing, transportation combined during their lifetime. I know all of you are nodding your head like, I can't believe we're doing this, right? You didn't know there was a solution, did you? Okay, so taxes account for up to 40% of every dollar earned. So every dollar you're making is 40% of that's going to the government. Beautiful, isn't it? And then people are like, employees are like, I can't afford the machine. I'm like, yeah, I know. Because you don't have a business to save yourself on all these taxes that they're taking right out of your paycheck. Okay, so plan B, again, join our affiliate program. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down to you. So here's the average household income. So you have husband, wife, earning money together. Average household income is $60,000 a year. Okay, that's average. Okay, so now you have business expenses. See the top line? What does that say? None, right? So they don't have any business deductions. Second line, the standard deduction. So off the $60,000, you are going to get a standard deduction. That's this was a couple years ago, 24,000. Okay, I haven't done tax for a while, so I don't know what that is now. So now you've got $36,000 that you're potentially taxed on. Okay, then off that, you're gonna have to pay federal and state taxes. So then they're taking these taxes out of your, out of your wages. So now you've paid a total of $10,740 in taxes based on that number. Okay, now you're gonna uh, take home 49,240. So you took the 60,000, you took the 10,000 off in taxes. Now you're left with 49,240. Now what's the problem with the next line? Cost of living. See that? You're bringing home now after taxes 49,000, but the cost of living is 53,000. So you're actually going negative. Now you're negative $303,760 a year for going to school, to get a job, to work for somebody else, to slave your life away, to have no freedom, you can't spend time with anybody, and you're still going negative every, every single month or year. That's crazy, isn't it? It's just crazy. All right, so now we're gonna have, what is a tax deductible business expense? So what is, how do we get these, what are they? Okay, so it's any expense incurred for a purpose of gaining or producing income. So when I went to Dubai and I rented all these nice cars, it was $1,000 a day to rent a nice car. I would have loved to rent it anyways, right? But now I can deduct it, $1,000, because that's what it costs, because it's the intention of doing business. I'm doing the YouTube videos, you know, I wanted to have fun out there, so I could do that. Incurred with a reasonable expectation resulting in future business. So if you're doing it now, but you know in the future you're going to be doing it, you can write it off. It's reasonable under the circumstances. That's what qualifies you. So now well, let's take the second situation here, okay? So we have a W-2 employee. He's, here are their categories of living expenses. So we have meals, cell phone. All of you have cell phone? All of you online have cell phone, right? Travel, internet, auto expenses, office supplies, daycare, personal development. So as an employee, you can't take a deduction for any of those. You can't. Now, look at over here. Employee, still an employee. Now you have a business. Now you can write off your business use of your home. Now we've got the retreat center. Hello, I want to have retreats there so I can write off it. Then we got meals, entertainment. You got this whole event, Bob, you know, vehicles, all these things. Meals, miles in your car, driving around, your cell phone, your internet, traveling expenses to go to Hawaii or wherever you want to go. You're prospecting, right? Um, personal development, like this event, office supplies and legal fees. So look now, you had $25,000 throughout the year that you spent. Now you would have spent this money anyways. Easy come, easy go, right? <laughs> Not so much sometimes. So $25,000 here, you get to deduct. As an employee, you don't get any of that. So you all understand this? Okay. Now, the next thing here, let's put it down on paper. So you have the 60,000. This is the first situation we went through as an employee. Second over here, now let's plug the numbers in. So to see the top line, business expenses. You went from zero, now you're negative 25,000 because you had your car and yourself and all these things added up. Now you have $11,000 instead of $36,000 of taxable income. 
Does this make sense? Okay, so now the government's like, oh, you only made 11,000 this year. I know because my business is getting going, right? You're allowed two years of negative loss before your business really gets going. And then after that, you're going to start really helping people. You can't just sit back and tech, you know, take the deductions. So the next thing is you have your federal and your state. But look, taxes paid 10000 taxes paid 6000 Now your take-home is 53000 Cost of living stayed the same. And now you're actually making out $826 more because you have a business. So when you really understand this, and you're talking to somebody that's an employee, they don't know this. And they're not seeing it. So you've got to help them. That's why I want you guys to understand how important it is to teach them how to be an entrepreneur so they can save themselves and make money on the side. Okay. So how do you qualify for this? You got to work in your own business 45 minutes a day, three to five days a week. This is what the government says. So you have to be working 45 minutes a day, three to five days a week. And you're going to have to uh, treat it as a business, ob obviously, and make income. If you don't make income, what is it? That's a hobby. And the hobby is going to pay you what a hobby is worth. It usually isn't good because of hobby, right? So you've got to actually go out there and take action. Okay. Um, we're not going to talk about the cars and the mileage and how to deduct all that because it's, you know, kind of boring. But um, anyways, there's a way to do it. But you can write off your whole entire vehicle. So let's just imagine that this year, in your job, you made 60000 okay? And then you decided to go buy a vehicle, and it was 40000 But you started your business. And you had to have that car for your business. And you're going to drive it most all the time for your business. So you had the 60000 Now you have your vehicle at 40000 This law here, 179, says you can deduct the whole entire vehicle the first year that you get it. So now you made 20000 Now they tax on the 20000 because you can deduct your vehicle. Okay, so that's tax law 179. You can also deduct it over appreciation of time, 5.3 years. Okay, so instead of taking the whole amount at one time, you can deduct it over 5.3 years. Okay, all right. It's important to have good mentors along the way because the fear and the doubt is going to come in your mind and you're not going to know what to do. And you're like, oh, I'm going to give up. I'm going to go back to my past because it's easier to be there because I know what that's like. I don't know about the future. I don't know how to get there. And that's why we want to have the best mentors on our team to help guide you. Okay. So own your own business. You're going to save a lot of money. You're going to help a lot of people. School system's broken. The tax system is way overtaxing people. And we got to take charge if you want to succeed in your life. Okay. All right. So now we want to share this information with others. So that's really what the goal here is to triple all of the presentations on Saturdays, quadruple them. So next Saturday, we have an event here at 12 o'clock. We'll be doing the same thing, giving information. So all week long, if you're an affiliate, you want to be talking to people, getting people to these events. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take a little questions. And maybe if you want to take some questions from Bob, too, maybe online, if anyone's got questions online. And I know we're supposed to get off about, what, 4 o'clock or so? iPad? Yeah. Where is it? Oh. Nice. Okay, so we'll take some questions online here. All right. So for the online team, if you do have questions, you can put them in the chat there and I will call on you. Raise your hand if you'd like to. Let's see. And we do have a limo going to be picking up the affiliates here at four. We'll kind of mingle around for a little bit and we'll head to the house. So for those of you. Okay. So I'm not certain here, but I have 42 chats. All right. Okay. So any questions here in the house? Questions about the products, questions about your future? goals, questions with Bob. You're just excited. Is there a coming goal that's Yes, there is. Yes, yeah, so we actually have a whole process. So when you get started with us, the first thing we're going to do is there's about 10 questions we're going to ask you. And we're going to set you up a, if you're here live, you're going to get a live 
if you're here online, you're going to get a Zoom call with either me or Horatius, and we're going to go through all those goals, finding out what it is that you want. And then we're going to get you onboarded with our virtual assistant and show you all the CRM program. So the first thing is we got to figure out what it is that drives you and what you want. First thing is you want to replace your income that you're already getting in your job. That's number one. Yep. Okay. All right. For those of you that are online, let's see. Um, we got Rail Hopkins, Nita, awesome, Carl, Jocelyn. She's an affiliate. Wonderful. Okay. And I know a lot of you probably want to know about our compensation plan too. So we are actually rolling out a brand new compensation plan with lots of bonuses along the way. So that will be next week. We'll be launching that out. Okay. All right. Well, I can't find the chat box on the on the screen, so I'm kind of hopeless up here. <laughs> okay. Well, I think it must have froze. Yeah. Sorry, guys. For pros. So let me see what if I can get it up here. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah. I don't know, but it's it's okay. I'm gonna go. Um... Okay. Well. Okay. I know. Um, several of you probably have questions about the alkalinity of the water, and I thought since Bob's here, it'd be kind of fun to talk about alkaline water and is there actually a benefit from drinking it? Um, do we have a soda pop? Do you know, or a lemon? Did we get a lemon? Shiza, we didn't get a lemon? Oh, we're gonna show that. Okay. But it's, it's it was gonna be a good test there. We're gonna show people with that. Did you wanna explain it at all? With the lemon? Yeah, just while we're waiting on figuring out how to get the, it shut down, but here you go. Okay, so here's Bob. He's going to tell a little bit about the pH theory and how it, it's not accurate. So we're going to talk about that. So the question is uh, alkalinity. You know, what, what is alkaline water and, and does it really help? Well, high pH, like anywhere from 8 to 10 around that area, is uh, alkaline water. And that pH supposedly a lot of companies are saying the pH really makes a difference. But if you look at the, the chemistry of pH, uh, our stomachs are anywhere from one, which is very low pH, I'm sorry, two to, to three around that area. That's very, very, that's acidic. And the reason is because the stomach has to digest stuff. It has to, you know, it, all this food that comes in, it has to degrade it. And, and make it pass through the intestine. So you need acid, right? You need acid in the stomach, not, not elsewhere, but in the stomach, especially. So if you have high alkalinity and you put it into, into acid or you put acid into high alkaline, the, the stomach acid around two will neutralize or bring that pH way down. So in essence, as soon as you drink alkaline water, it's neutralized by the acidity of the stomach, just like that. And we were gonna do a little demonstration putting like a, a bottle of uh, a glass of alkaline pH and just put a couple of lemon drops and you'll see and measuring the pH it'll go down dramatically and according to some of the research and Do Dr. Tyler LeBaron who's coming in in April will really give a, a really great presentation because he did research studies on alkaline water and he's saying along with others that it's really 
the hydrogen in the alkaline water that's producing the health clinical benefits, almost 100%. And he pretty much agrees with me. Alkalinity is not, you know, alkaline water is really not that, uh, you know, effective or good for the body or, or it's not bad, but it's it's not that great because, again, your stomach neutralizes that high pH. So that's, in essence, that's a pretty basic understanding and explanation about alkalinity versus pH. Thank you, because we do have a lot of people asking that question. I know from the past, we, were, we didn't really know it was the hydrogen in it that was creating all the benefits. And so the story got told long time, alkaline, alkaline, alkaline. There was a gentleman named Dr. Otto Warburg that talked about how your body can't be alkaline. I mean, can't have cancer in an alkaline environment. And because of that one thing, a lot of people went out there and said that story a lot, a lot. And so now we know with scientific certainty, it's not anything to do with alkaline, that what actually Dr. Warburg stated was not what we were telling people. And so it's the hydrogen. So that's why our company is the best hydrogen water products, because it's hydrogen we're really wanting to go out there and promote, not the alkalinity. So I know another thing too is, what about the absorption of the water? You're going to get that question a lot too. This so-called microclustering of the water. So in those studies that Dr. Tyler Barron did, and you can also check them out on the Molecular Hydrogen Institute website, talks about microclustering that doesn't exist. It was a fancy term that was made up, but it really has no impact in your body. So I just want to kind of clear those up because I have a video out there on YouTube. It's got quite a few views and I know a lot of people are like, Really, Amanda, it does make a difference. And I'm like, actually, no, it doesn't. So um, those of you that don't have those studies, definitely go check them out. All right. Any other questions? We do have it open up here. And I know, let's see here. This is a, what's happening here, but there was a few questions here. Yeah. Chat? Okay. All right. Here we go. I mean, you just... Okay, so this this uh, question might be more geared towards Bob. Um, I mean, you could say that, but alkalinity is important because it kills disease. All alkalinity is just potential of hydrogen. So, I so this is this is basically the question they said. I mean, you could say that, but alkalinity is important because it kills disease. So, do you want to address alkalinity killing disease? And it says all alkalinity is just potential of hydrogen. All right. First of all, you have to define what, what killing disease is. Sure. If you put alkaline, high alkaline water on, on bacteria or maybe viruses or some other pathogens, yeah, it will kill them outside the body. But how does it work inside the body? If it's neutralized to where it's not alkaline anymore, then What's the sense of, of drinking alkaline water? It doesn't make sense. It will kill disease outside the body if you if you pump it onto bacteria, protozoa, uh, fungus. It will probably kill them. High alkaline, not not just a little, but quite a bit. And then, uh, so that there's truth to that question, uh, that uh, statement. But when it goes, when you drink it inside the body, it can't really adjust the pH that much. Your blood is between uh, 7.2 and 7.4, a very fine uh, line of, of pH. If it goes over that or under that, guess what? You die. Your body has to regulate that. So it keeps the, the uh, pH, that blood, very constant. And it adjusts. It, it, it balances like we saw on those slides. Your cells balance that, that alkaline that uh, um, you know, acid base pH. So that's it. As what was the other part of the question? So the second part of the question is, all alkaline is is just potential of hydrogen. So the pH logarithmic scale, potential of hydrogen pH. So when they believe the higher the pH, the more hydrogen. And so, can you clarify if that's true? Yeah. Uh, pH is the negative log of the hydrogen concentration. That's correct, but it's the hydrogen atom, not the molecule. The molecule is H2, which is the gas. 
that's what we're talking about. This is what it's all about is the gas that when you take it, either inhale it, drink it, inject it, or put this on the skin, it has these health benefits that are proven over and over and over again in 2000 studies. I mean, that that's a quite a bit. So we're talking about molecular hydrogen, really not the hydrogen ion constant. The ion is just the atom. So we want to make that clear. Hydrogen gas is H2 molecule. The ion is H plus. That's pretty powerful information because that is hard to understand for the standard person, but it makes more sense now. So thank you so much. Another one here. Bob, come back. <laughs> You're the man of the hour. Question and answer. Here we come. They, the ionic process helps to get hydrogen into the cell. Ionic electrolysis process. Do you understand the question? Yes. How? How does it do that? Mm -hmm. um, I, that's my question to, to them. Okay. The ionic process is there's electro, electrolysis, which produces um, the, uh, the pH and through minerals and adds minerals to, to the water. And it also adds hydrogen. So the benefits that were studied, and you can ask the, the, the top researcher on hydrogen is Tyler LeBaron. He can tell you exactly what he found. But he not only him, but others have found that really the alkalinity, alkalinity doesn't make any difference. Maybe if you take alkaline water, maybe in the jejunum, the part of the stomach that meets the, the, uh, uh, the, the, the intestines, the small intestine, that, that area there, you might get some help in that area alone. But then when it reaches the blood, remember I said that pH balance is very, very important and it's instantly balanced. You can't have alkaline blood, al al high alkaline blood. It's not going to happen. It's mostly neutral. 7.2 to 7.4. Below that, you're dead. Above that, you're dead. Cool. Okay. Um, we have been told alkaline water hydrates at a cellular level. Is that true? Again, hydrates at a cellular level. Well, it really doesn't reach the cellular level at the alkaline, alkaline pH. It's neutralized in the stomach. It's it's no longer alkaline. Good. Okay. Any other questions here for Bob Wise on the spot online crew? I know you're been dying to get these questions asked. Um, elect, do you know a lot about the electrolysis ionization process? Uh, not enough to really comment. Okay. Uh, that there's a, there's a lot to it. A lot, yeah, <laughs> yes. it's very technical. It's very but Tyler can tell you yes. the exact chemistry. Yes. Okay. And okay, so I don't see any more questions here online. Okay. So I am going to go ahead and unless there's any more questions here online, we're going to stop the online and we'll just focus here on the team in here in person. Okay, so thank you so much, all of you, for coming on board with us. We really appreciate you. Make sure you grab your book. There is a link that's in the chat and goes over the website. Fill it out. Those of you that did win the prizes, make sure that we know that it's you by sending us an email to support at amandabobbitt.com so you can make sure to include that with your book. Okay, and Bob is going to autograph your book personally as well. Okay, so we'll see you all soon. And if you haven't joined our affiliate program, now is the best time. We have three joining right now, right? Thank you so much, and we'll see you all very soon.